Let's begin. All right, let's get back to it, guys. Everything should be running perfectly fine. Today, everything should be perfectly perfect in every way. And we are back with Orberg City. Thank goodness I figured out how to make things work a little bit smoother now. Of course, it required a lot of them. Um, a lot of time and patience. So, uh, we're just getting right back into it. Team is right here. And we're just going to go from here. Obviously, I need to train up Scylla quite a bit. But we'll, we'll have the time to do that. We'll have time for that. Alright, let's go. We're just going to hurry on and go ahead. Obviously, not much is going to be happening right now. And that's fine. We do actually still have an encounter. We do have an encounter coming up real soon. That being the Abra. Though, I'll be honest, I think... Uh, I could have traded the Machop we have for an <laughs> Oh my gosh, that would have been so good. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. We'll just, we'll just move on. We just move on. I don't think there's anything specifically that I need. Maybe some healing items, but we're also... I think we're fine. On the lines of healing items. Yeah, I think we're fine. Ah, I don't want that. Alright. Let's just... Yeah. Uh, next level. The next level that we're going to be stopping at, as I'm pretty sure, is 22? 21? Yeah, pretty sure. So, we're just going to go from that point and, uh... Of course, we still have the main members. <laughs> Again, let's go. Let's just, let's just get going. Uh, we have a lot of ground to cover. I was hoping to get through the second gym uh, yesterday, but we're going to be doing that today and most likely the third and maybe fourth gym. I don't know. I just want to get as far as I can today. Oh, yeah. We also get a... Don't we also... Oh yeah, we uh, we do have the encounter for Abra, but we'll, eh, we, we'll, we won't worry about that for right now. Abra's also just failed me too much in the past, so I probably should have bought Pels just for, for when we're going through these uh, areas we've already been in. And of course, we have to go against uh, some random trainers. Of course, we do. Thankfully, my stream actually is looking amazing. <laughs> Finally, it actually is looking amazing. I'm actually grateful for that. We're just going to quickly uh, plow through everything here. We just get through. Uh, we do... Yo, what's up, Eric? Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you in here, man. It's a new day. A new start. And we have a lot of ground to cover. Like, a lot. And I mean a lot. So... Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna get through. We also need to find an Abra and catch it. We might as well. Uh, we need to get an Abra. I mean, getting an Abra is pretty good, right? But, yeah. Yo, for real, ring ring, answer the call. Someone has hit me with a ball. Okay. <laughs> Okay, sure. I have no idea why, but okay. Welcome into the stream for real. Though I am curious on, uh, on that specific phrase. <laughs> Alright, we are trying to find ourselves a Abra real quick, and then we'll be able to move on. Catch the Abra, we'll move on. We are, we do have Dupes Claws, we'll be fine. Uh, of course, we do have quite a few encounters actually coming up. We have the option for getting a Shellos or a Weasel. And we also have the, uh, um, the, um, what is it called? What is it called? Eternal Force. We have the Eternal Force count encounter, which will give us two options to pick from when we actually get in there and start finding Pokemon. Of course, we gotta find uh, an Abra real quick, and then we'll be able to move on. We have to catch every Pokemon we can, and leave no grass untouched in this point in the game. But yeah, how are you guys doing today? How are you guys doing today? Tell me what is uh, your favorite pasta dish. For me, I would actually say uh, lasagna. Lasagna, just 
Come on, give me with a good uh, seven layer lasagna. Mmm, that's good stuff. It doesn't have to all be cheese. You got meat, cheese, noodles, uh, your seasonings. You gotta add the seasonings in there. Uh, and, you know, good sauce. Well, obviously, I have to have sauce. I mean, come on. But then again, uh, I don't know. A spaghetti is also pretty good. Fettuccine Alfredo. It's pretty good, I'd say. Some of the shinks. Oh, please don't let this be a repeat of last time. We need to catch an apparatus today. Please. I mean, obviously, if I catch the Abra, it's going to end up going into the, uh, the box, so... I, we just need to catch stuff. We just need to catch stuff. Our team is fine for now, and we'll make adjustments as we go. Uh, obviously, there are a few Pokemon I want to catch as soon as I can. So, yeah, you have a cat named Rex, but, uh... You know. I am assuming for real is on the lines of just doing poetry. I'm assuming that's what you're going for right now. That's interesting. You have a cat named Rex, but I'll. I, I, mm, I have a cat named Rex, but I'll never have sex. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I don't have a cat. Uh, unfortunately, it's very unfortunate. We did have a, an older cat. Uh, it was, uh, named Cortense. A very nice old cat. Good mouser. Very good mouser. But, uh, unfortunately, because of age, it died. It was... It was just how it is. It, it happens, you know? Keep things are appropriate, please. Hey. I, I kind of agree. Do you try to keep things appropriate? But, at the same time... There are so... Yeah, I don't know. I can't do anything about people in chat, but I do appreciate what you're trying to say, Eric. There are children who may be trying to get into the stream, I agree. But where's this frickin' Abra? Holy crap! If I can't get- an, if I can't find an Abra within the next five encounters, I'm just moving on. I'm not gonna stay here if I can't get, uh, get the Abra. Come on. Alright. No. Where is this frickin' Abra? It's a new day. It's sunny outside. Give me the Abra. I did actually have four cats. We did. My family had four cats. We picked them up as kittens who were on the side of the road. This is the second one. Uh, we had four cat kittens. Unfortunately, we also have a dog. And unfortunately for us, uh, the dog ended up killing two of the kittens. And unfortunately, we couldn't do anything about it. And one of the kittens got run over in the road. We did, we were able to keep one of them. It was a, a nice white uh, cat with a few black spots on it. Uh, it actually put up a fight and kept the dog at bay. So it was a. Uh, so the dog actually was kind of scared of it. Uh, unfortunately for us, uh, the cat got into the engine of our car after. Uh, after we had driven it for a while, and it was in there where it was warm. So the unfortunate thing is, the cat ended up getting uh, sucked up into the engine, and we couldn't do anything about it. It was um, it was actually very unfortunate. So yeah, my goodness, where is this Abra? I'm trying different places of grass, but I can't find a freaking Abra. That's number five. We're moving on. Yeah. Sad thing my cat died, but at least I tied. Okay. Okay. If we're going to speak in rhymes, by all means. I will not stop you from speaking in rhymes. Let me think here. Could I come over with a rhyme? I could. It's a good rhyme. I actually don't know any really good rhymes at the moment. <laughs> Uh, let me think here. I'll switch, uh, Nala up front. Why not? Yeah, we gotta do this one. Alright. Let me think here. I can't think of any rhymes. I'm about to beat these bull cuts. Uh, they don't know what about to hit them. I don't know. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Hold on. Let me think here. What's, what's a good rhyme? Uh. Uh. She throws out her chimchar. 
Watch as I hit this bar. Uh, probably not. Not when this work. Sounds kind of bad. Ugh, sounds kind of bad. Oh, well, that worked out. Look at that. Actually, the uh, the partner actually does something for once. Valkyrie level 13, Scylla level 10, and double team. We'll, we'll take the double team, I guess. Uh, yeah. And Va Scylla level 10 is good, but we need 10 more levels, and that's gonna take probably uh. That's gonna take a little bit. Oh, can we kill it? Hmm. I can't think of any. I, I'm not good at rhyming on the spot, unfortunately. Oh, uh, let me think here. Maybe I can come up with one. We'll come up with a really good rhyme. We'll come up with a really good one eventually. Alright. Level 13, so multiples, yeah. My favorite flying type is Zubat. My second one is Wubat. Oh my gosh, she's. Dude, he's styling on me now. I should have figured that one out, man. All right, we're just gonna move on from here. Then BB's gonna come up, give us ball capsules. I actually don't remember if this was in the original game, though. The original two, three. I think it might have been. I think it might have been. Maybe. But hey, Zubat is definitely a uh, good Pokemon, especially when it becomes a Crobat. And Wubat's not bad either, really. It's not that bad. Okay, so we've already gotten the Ravaged Path Pokemon. And now we just gotta keep moving on to the next route and, and get past Floroma Town. Past Flor Floroma Town is where we, we will uh, get our next encounter. Uh, it's gonna most likely be either a Shellos or a Buizel. We obviously have the option to get a lot of water Pokemon in this game. As of the la as of the last attempt of this, we got too many water Pokemon, which is not good when you start out with uh, Piplup in the first place. So, so yeah, let's go Valkyrie here. Valkyrie is going to be probably our best Pokemon when it comes to uh, the next gem being Grass. Uh, I don't know about... Well, we also need to catch ourselves, hopefully, a Ponyta. We need the fire type, you know? Hey, should I stop? If not, I'm going to be become your... Oh, what the crud, man? What the crud? I mean, no, no. By all means, keep going. I won't stop you. I won't stop you. I mean, it's, it's impressive. I'll be honest. But then again, you also have more time and then... And the ability to focus on making rhymes, and I'm stuck over here doing my times. Oh, I got a rhyme! Okay, there we go. I got a rhyme. <laughs> uh, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so, but by all means, keep chatting. I'm totally fine with the rhymes. I find that actually more engaging than a lot of other things. That's actually kind of cool as well. You should be into poetry. Yo, just write a book on poetry, man. Uh, there are a few things I need and want to actually do in this run. Uh, the main thing I want to do is catch, uh, some very sp let's hear it. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I mean, I, I just said it. Sorry, there is a 20 second delay-ish. There is a little bit of a delay on the timing of this. Uh, just saying. Uh, so that's what you, I did. I actually just said it at that time. Uh, you know. You know. You're able to do these rhymes at your prime, and I unfortunately can't because of time or something like that. I don't know. I'll figure out a good one that just comes to me, and I'll just dish it out, and nobody will expect it at all, and they'll be like, "What? It's crazy. That's so good." Nah, but we'll figure that out once we actually uh, get there. Uh, we need to evolve both Valkyrie and uh, and King. Evolve them, and then we'll most like we'll be able to beat uh, we'll be able to beat Mars pretty simply, actually. But it's seed. But it's seed. We just gotta move on. That. All right. Let's see here. We're gonna go this way. Grab a few berries.
All right. Let's grab the berries. We need catch the next Pokemon. We'll challenge the Galactic Grunts, get rid of them all, and then we'll be able to move on with our happy and married lives. Stop. Ah. There we go. Yeah, but how are you doing today, by the way, for real? Like, really, how are you doing today? I don't think I've actually seen you in the streams at all. Nor do I think I've seen you comment on any videos that I've done, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's quickly catch... Either a Buizel or a Shellos. We could run into Pachirisu here, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we have a Shellos. We have Shellos. We're going for Shellos. Uh, and because, for real, you're actually here... I will allow you to also nickname the shellos that we're trying to catch. Uh, I do want to try and give uh, everybody a chance to nickname a Pokemon, so please, by all means, if you have a nickname for this shellos, by all means, let's hear it. Nice. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, there is no real theme here. There is no real theme. It's, uh, it's whatever you want. It's whatever you want it to be. It is also a female, so we gotta stick true. Uh, let me think here. What's a- actually, hold on. And we could just name it after something that rhymes with it. Shellos. Let's go with Guts. Guts? Actually, hold on. Could I- no, no, no. We got it. You said Guts, we're going Guts. We could have done Gots. Shellos. Sh Goss. Nah, nah, actually, actually, that wouldn't have worked. We're going to send Guts to the box, and we're going to just keep going with this. And now we challenge uh, some people, grab the potion, because why not? It's so nice that they give us random items in random places. Maybe I should try and do a run where, uh... Maybe I should try and do a run where I, where I don't uh, use any uh, items in the overworld. Like, I can't use a Pokemon Center, you know? Calling your Guts? Okay. Hey, I mean, hey, why not? First thing on my mind, that's fine. Calling them Guts is pretty good. We can't catch a Glammy on that, now that I think about it. And I just thought that Glammy would actually be pretty good. Alright. Small, pink, squishy. <laughs> I... Sure, if that's if that's how you want to go with it, Eric. If that's how you want... If that's how you remember it. Uh, hey, when you think of Guts, think of small, pink, and squishy. That's how we're gonna think of- that's how I'm gonna think of Guts every now- from now on. <laughs> Alright, so level 13 on hard, level 9 on Dulahan. We are doing pretty good. We're doing fine. We got a long ways to go. We do have a long ways to go. Oh! Oh, that's right, they have all level 14. Perfect! And I'm- I hope we get Intimidate with this, because getting Intimidate is gonna be really good. Should've probably named her Ash Blossom. That could have been an idea. Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom enjoys spring. <laughs> oh, that mm, could have. We could have. All right, but we got ourselves a uh, Staravia now. So we're able to hurry up. Thank you for telling me where I can find the key. Thank you. And then we move on. Oh, man. I really wish I had the bike right now. I, I was, I was thinking of going and using the uh, the Pokemon Center to heal up real, real quick, but we kind of don't. So I'm just gonna put King up front, get a hopefully a few more levels, uh, and then we'll be able to beat Mars fairly simply, fairly simply. I mean, what what what's a? I'm assuming for real that you're familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh, and I'm pretty sure that's why you said Ash Blossom, <laughs> which is totally fine. Uh, I would have act to be honest, maybe we should do Yu-Gi-Oh names. That would have been a good idea. We could have done Yu-Gi-Oh names. Oh, we could have done Yu-Gi-Oh names to make name all the uh all the different um all of the uh all the different Pokemon. Man, Evolve King, I don't know. So I'm pretty sure uh King of All is at level 16. Pretty sure that's what the normal level is for most Pokemon for starters. Uh yeah. Yeah, you play Yu-Gi-Oh? Okay. So yeah, I'm just, I'm pretty sure that's how you probably found me in the first place. Because I'm assuming you've seen my other videos, or at least, or at least a few of the things I've done. Which, yeah, I'm just throwing, I'm just trying to relate a little. 
But yeah, we could have called Piplup like uh, uh, oh, what, what, uh, Squire or something. Uh, because, you know, there's all the penguin cards. Uh, there's like... Ah, I can't remember. No, there was just options. There was just a bunch of options. Like, we could have called Staravia, like... Uh, and... No, we could have called... We could have called... We could have called, uh... Gotta love my Staravia name, Poplus. Poplus? Poplus? Okay. Okay, I, 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 can, I can see it. I can see it. Uh, we could have, but yeah, I, we could have nicknamed all of our Pokemon after Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, I could have called, uh, Piplup, who's gonna become, a uh, came late. No, not really. Not really. We just barely got to the next town. So, uh, welcome into the stream, man. Nice to see you in here. Uh, but we could have, we could have nicknamed all of our Pokemon after Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We could have done that. We could have called King M-Pen after the, uh, Floron Doris M-Pen, you know? It would have just worked. It's a, it's a good... Penguin, it's a penguin. Uh, we could have, uh, we could have nicknamed uh, Valkyrie like Robina. No, Rob, not Robina. Robina wouldn't have worked. Uh, could have done um, Eaglin, 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 something like that. Uh, we could have done a lot of things. We could have done a lot of things, but that's okay. But that's okay. Sweet, I got myself a works key. Yay! Gonna use that once and then never touch it again. Yay. And we got a jar of honey. Yay. But yeah, welcome back into the stream, guys. Welcome back into the stream, man. It's nice to have some people actually show up. Alright. We're gonna heal up real quick and then we are going to. Then we're gonna go and head over to where Mars is. We beat the few galactic grunts in there. Then we can probably safely challenge Mars. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure. We also- I'm pretty sure Staravia also has Intimidate, so I gotta check that. If not, it has Guts. Nope, 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 nope. Let's just check real quick. Yeah. Okay, it does have Intimidate. So we got two people with Intimidate. Oh, I'm just noticing its natures. Hold on. That's fine. That's okay. That's a bad nature. Kind of for Shinx, but at the same time, it's not because there's more uh, special attack, uh, electric type attacks. Lowering defense, raising special attack, I'll take it. Lowering attack and raising speed, I like that. I like that a lot. And for the Zubat, lowering speed isn't good, so yeah. No, well, it's not good. I barely know Dark Magician and both Eyed Dragons. Okay, that's fair. But when you think about it, Blue Eyes White Dragon and Red Eyes Black Dragon are literally Zekrom and Reshiram. You realize that, right? It's kind of funny how that's the case. All right, let's, don't do that. However, no, 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 we gotta, we gotta change our thing. We're gonna go there, go there. There we go, there we go, okay. We're going to go in, uh, we are going to uh, battle the grunts. Hopefully we get a level up enough to get King to evolve, and then we'll be able to do it. And for, and for the Perugly, most people struggle with the Perugly just because of how tanky it is. But because we have the Intimidate, the in, we can intim Intimidate Switch with both of them and we'll be fine. Also, out of all of the... Uh, out of all the themes for the different Pokemon Evil groups, I kind of think... Now, this is my personal opinion. I kind of think Galactics is the best one. Then again, I'll be honest, uh, probably the most iconic one would be uh, the Team Rocket. I think that one's the most iconic. But... Team Galactics just kind of slaps, man, you know? Cascoon down. We might be able to get up another level. We might be able to get another, another level up with, uh, with King. We just have to beat the other uh, Galactic Grunt, and I think that's enough. We have to try, though. I think Team Eclipse is better, but Team Eclipse? I wasn't aware of there being a Team Eclipse at all. I mean, I like the idea of Team Eclipse being an actual team. They should have had Team Eclipse in uh, Sun and Moon, let's be honest. They could have done that, but they didn't. Uh, they could have. They could have. It actually would have worked. It just, it would have worked. 
However, I'd, I'm not aware of any Team Eclipse unless you're referring to a different uh, game that I'm not aware of. Oh my gosh, being hurt by poison is not good. It's fine though. We, 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 we take the poison. We just kill the Wurmple. We get the next one out. We beat it easy. Team Eclipse would have been a good... Like, no. They could have named... They could have had an entirely separate game. And it would have been good. Brick Bronze, the Roblox game. <laughs> Brick Bronze. Oh, gosh. Why did, that, that just sounds really weird. Team Eclipse from the hit game, probably. Uh, Pokemon Brick Bronze. All the... All the want to do is capture the Hoopa. That sounds very interesting. That does sound very interesting. Hmm. That does sound very interesting. Okay, so we did not get the level up that we wanted. Do I challenge her now? I mean, we'd probably be fine, but... Uh, well, well better to be safe than sorry. Let's be honest here. Let's use, uh, this. I don't want to have to go back all the way to the Pokemon Center just to heal. So we're just going to do this real quick. I'm going to go outside, quickly kill a few mons, and then uh, come back in once we know we're evolved. Yeah, I'm going to be like that. I'm going to be like that. Her her, her Peragli is level, like, what? 16? Maybe 18? Can't remember. And then gets slammed on by a 10-year-old. Every game actually is like that. It's one of the... Yeah, if only Giga Chad did. That's true. That's true. If Giga Chad did not die... Things would have been so much better. But at the end of the day, we can't do anything about it. We can only march on. We go, even though Giga Chat is dead, we move on. We move on from there. We do our best, guys, to honor the name of Giga Chat. We honor Giga Chat. Uh, Giga Chat was also a uh, Machop from last stream, just so you know, for real. Uh, having the Machop would have actually been really good, though. There's the Buizel we could have had. But that's okay. Getting a Shellos is still pretty good. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. Uh, especially because it also evolves into uh, a Ground-type later. Which, go Water Ground's insane. Now that I think about it... Now that I think about it, the typing of Water Ground first came out... I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Water Ground. The first Pokemon that was Water Ground was Whiskash, which was in the Johto games, I'm pretty sure. And now we evolve. And then the next the next game, they had a starter, Mudkip, which evolved into Marsh Tump and Swampert, which were both Water Ground, which became one of the most broken Pokemon in the game. Cause they resisted like half of every half of the types. Or, you know wasn't affected by it and then they came out with oh no, no no hold on no there was whooper whooper and then quagsire and wishcash quagsire and wishcash were the first water grounds and then they came out with like a bunch more later yeah that's what i was thinking of i i, I, I can't remember yeah okay we have king evolving we get it progly is dead it was already dead progly was one of my most hated pokemon in the game when I was a kid truly it, it truly was I'm going to do this. I'm going to... We'll put in a... We'll put a... Val, we'll put a... We'll put Nala up front. We use the potion. We might as well, because we may not use these healing items later anyways. They're just potions. However, we do need to buy healing items uh, on the way up. Uh, once we get to Eterna. Because once we get to Eterna, we can go to the special shop. And get ourselves uh, the the most broken healing items ever, which for incredibly cheap. So, yeah. Zubat, I think it might be level sixteen. Is Zubat level sixteen or is it fourteen? It's fourteen. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. And we're confused. And we still hit through. Perfect. Okay, can I just say, I like the design for Mars in the original games. In this one, I don't know how I feel about it. In this one, I don't know how I feel about it. And why does it have U-Turn? I think I forgot that it had U-Turn. I'm gonna go see it. No, that's okay. That's okay, man. 
You take care, okay, man? You you take care, for real. You take care, okay? Full switch on Nala would be terrifying. That's true. That would be true. We're going to switch over to Valkyrie. We need to get as many uh, Intimidate switches on as possible. But you take care, for real. You take care. Alright, we switch over to Nala. We just want to get as many uh, Intimidates off as possible. Because this Perugly is going to be nasty if we let it sit as it is. Go to Valkyrie. I mean, this, this, like, what I'm doing right here, right now, this isn't even what I, I could just, I could just not do this and just go for Print Club or King and just, uh, just destroy them. But nah, let's just make them almost do nothing. Alright, let's see, three is enough. Probably was, probably was. But now... Alright, I had the Orin Berry. I'm gonna switch over to King. Because if they get a crit at that range, we lose a Pokemon and I don't wanna do that. So we're going King. Yeah, we take those. We won't we won't also get us Oh, wait a moment. Wait a minute. No, I'm switching over to Scylla. Why? Because I'm sure Scylla can take a hit. They take a hit. We switch over. We wanna get some experience on uh Scylla. Yeah, we take the hit. Okay. Now we go over to King. There we go. I wanted to get some experience on some of these guys. I should have probably done that beforehand, but that's fine. I'm taking some unnecessary damage here. Oh man, they hit me with a hit me with a growl. Oh, shame. Well, uh, anyways, water gun. I'm just switch training on Mars. I'm switch training on a freaking cat. Oh, look at that. Easy. I could have probably put on the uh, the battle effects for this battle. I didn't, but that's okay. And dang, level 12 on Scylla. We just need to get eight more levels on Scylla, and we have a freaking Gyarados. And then we just kind of, we just cruise. Just cruise through the game. We'll keep it. And then we just water gun. They use a supersonic, and we avoid it. Oh, look at that. And we win. Perfect. Clean sweep. Oh, beautiful. Easy. It's too easy. And we get Spark. Nice. Okay. Spark, really good right now. Really good. We are going to do that for... We'll do it for Charge. Having the uh, Thunder Shock is still good, because if we end up getting our attack lowered, we can switch over to using Thunder Shock. Not that it matters. I mean, our nature is kind of bad. And Shinx evolves! Nala, you are becoming a lioness! Beautiful! Alright. Now we have a team. We now have a real team going on right now. After that little jamming session, let's actually get going. We have to heal up, and then we'll move on. Right now, the Pokemon I want to, like... The Pokemon I want to evolve the most right now is Scylla. Getting a Gyarados, especially early on, and with Intimidate, mind you. Which would be insane if we had three Intimidate Pokemon. That would be absolutely amazing. We still need to um, get everybody else up a little bit as well. The good news is because we have the experience share, it just helps with the grinding. It just helps with the grinding so much. Okay, so let me look here. So this is Route 205. That's the Valley Windworks over there. This is a new route. And that's a new trainer. Forgot about that. Which is fine. 
We need to get as much money as we can as well, because we need to buy healing items, a few Pokeballs, and we need to buy uh, the TNs later, especially the ones that are really strong, because those will help us out tremendously. Okay, Ponyta. Yeah, we'll spark them. Now we take the hits, we spark them. Does pretty good, does pretty good. Ember again, spark, kills it, easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. Level 13, 15, 12. Very nice. Very, very nice. We do like that. We like that a lot. We have a long ways to go. But there are a few Pokemon I want to catch. Sooner rather than later. Now, let me say this now. The one Pokemon I know I need to catch before anything else... Before a very specific Pokemon. Okay, we're catching a Pachirisu. Uh, this is a new route. We catch ourselves Pachirisu. We're catching a world champ. Okay. We're catching the world champion Pokemon. Okay. That was a great little kill hit. Holy crap. I mean, Pachirisu is actually a pretty bulky Pokemon. Three levels in... Still is carrying. That's true. But actually, I'm pretty sure uh, Magikarp evolves at level 20. Pretty sure Magikarp evolves at level 20. Isn't it? Unless they changed it, I don't know. Alright, but we got ourselves a Pachirisu. The Illisquil Pokemon. Uh, I'll get the nickname for this Pachirisu. Uh, the, it just makes sense, especially since it literally was what won... A championship it literally was the key figure to winning I'll name him champion send him to a box we have an extra electric type that's pretty good that's actually pretty good uh, I think I kind of want to put up uh, hard they're level 15 they're a little bit lower than the rest of them but I kind of want to get them up there and what better person to go against than a hiker who probably has a much up now that I think about it they might have a rock like two dudes please okay we, we're, we're still good we're good oh it's nice when you have a fully functional team oh it's so good of course um that being said we still uh we still need to one uh like i was saying earlier there's a few pokemon i want to catch before a very specific pokemon to catch we need to catch a bronzor and we have a Geodude, and we have a Zubat. We need to catch a Bronzor before a very specific location. Now, why do I say this? Okay. There... I'm sure you guys know this. But, in a very specific cave, there is a very specific Pokemon I want to catch. Mind you, we are playing with Dupes Claws. And, if I want to catch this Pokemon, I have to guarantee it that I don't miss the opportunity of catching it. So we need to catch a Bronzor before, mind you, before we get there. Gave up on Abra? Yeah. I kind of gave up on the Abra just because it was taking way too long. Like, way too long. To the point that it was actually kind of stupid. We're gonna just stay in. We're just gonna keep absorbing. And we'll win. The Abra was taking way too long. Not to mention, I'm pretty sure I can catch an Abra slash Kadabra later anyways. So I'm not really gonna worry about it right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can just catch a Kadabra later. So, I'm not going to worry about the Abra right now. Not to mention, I'd probably end up losing the Abra slash Kadabra at the Eterna City Gym anyways, like I did last time, which would suck. So, we'll have a chance to get ourselves a Kadabra later. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Grab this. Oh, that was useless. I forgot. X-Attack. That's useless. Okay, uh... We do want to try and get as much money as possible. We want to get as much as we can. 
And like I said, we need to catch a Bronzor before we go to a very specific location. The Pokemon I am aiming to catch is a Gibble. If we can get ourselves a Gibble, I'm, I'm fairly certain we will have the best chance of winning this game, okay? If we just need to get us, if we get a Gibble, it's one. It's gonna be the probably the best teammate on the team, ever, and I mean that. Cause man, I'd be giving that so much attention and love like no other Pokemon I have. Cause getting a Garchomp would be insane. And now I need to switch my Pokemon over again. Okay. Thank goodness they don't have that poison on them. Grab the oh, antidote. Okay. We could also do a lot of backtracking and find specific items that might be good as well. I just realized that, but we're not going to worry too much about certain things. Right now, uh, the goal is to get through Eterna and get through everything else. It does. It's true. Garchomp does evolve before the League. Technically, it evolves before the League, meaning we can't really use it for uh, any of the gyms. Kind of. The thing about Garchomp is that it does become a Gibble, a, uh, a Gibbite before uh, we uh, have to go against, uh, before we have to go against um, uh, Volkner, who is the electric gym. Which, he, he's not really an electric specialist in these games, he's more of an um, electric move specialist when you think about it, really. Re really, when you think about it, when you, when you really think about it, you know. But yeah, uh, that's true. We did get, we just got the antidote, but I don't even think I need to use it. I don't think I need to use the antidote whatsoever. Why would I say that? Well, because we have Eternal Forest coming up. Eternal Forest will have, give us Cheryl, who will just heal our Pokemon for us. It makes it so much easier. Uh, that's an Onix. Uh, we take that. We take those. And we need to get Scylla up a few more levels, and if we can do that, we will be golden. And we might as well do a little bit of switch training while we're at it with a few trainers over here. Because we have Pokemon that can take hits now. Boom. That's dead. Yeah. Oh, it's got sturdy. Okay. Rock throw. Uh, water gun. Easy. Right now, it's just gonna be a simple, uh, just a simple travel to the next city and through the forest. A simple jaunt through the park, you could say. So, grab a snack, grab yourself some lunch, maybe. Maybe a drink. Get yourself a smoothie, you know? Stay healthy. Stay healthy out here. Another Shellos. Could we have caught, an, could we have caught a ponytail here? Could we? Could we have found a ponytail here? Maybe. I don't know. But getting a ponytail is going to be really, really good. Uh, if we can... Ooh, repel. That's nice. Uh, if we can get ourselves a ponytail, we'll have our fire type. Which, we kind of need that for the steel types. Well, maybe not need it, but... It'd be really good to have. Not to mention ice later. You know what I mean? Um, but even if we don't... Now... But even if we don't, mind you, uh, get the, uh, can't, I can't attack him. <laughs> but even if we can't even get ourselves, uh, a fire type or even a decent fighting type, we can still use ground types against the other Pokemon and we'll be totally fine with that. That's a lot of damage. Ugh. Let's use Peck. Roll sweep again. Speed fell. Heck it. That did not do enough. Uh, sw switching over. Ah, we gotta go. We gotta go Valkyrie. They're poisoned, I know. But we'll get an Intimidate off, and that's probably for the better. Intimidate! A little sweep. Get hit by the poison. Our speed fell, but I'm pretty sure we're so fast that it won't matter. Wing attack. Dude. We're good. 
actually, now that I think about it, this might be the best time to actually train up Scylla. We're going to be going with Cheryl, and we'll have the t opportunity for double battles. Oh yeah, I forgot, there's also a, a house literally, like, right here that we can just talk to the person. They heal us. They gave us so many healing options in the in this game, which is insane. All right, let's see here. Yeah, we'll talk to you. Get a little bit of training. Get a little bit of training. Uh, then we move on to where Eternal Forest is. Oh yeah, Pimpla. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot uh, this person had a Pimpla. All right, it's time to uh, time to utterly wreck it. Yeah. By the way, you guys never answered my question earlier. Uh, what is your favorite type of pasta? Like, what's your favorite pasta dish? You know, I kind of said mine. I said it was a uh, said it was lasagna, but I do enjoy a lot of other ones as well. You know, that was a crit. Jeez. All right, one more hit, and we're good. It's a pound. We take that. And then we go with, uh, just do that. Yeah. And we heal up. Oh, it's so easy. Oh, it's so easy. And we do have the Eternal Forest encounter coming up real soon. So we are going to uh, quickly do that. Let's go here. We're going to switch over for... Do we do Nala? Nah, we'll go King, I think. We're going King. Mac and cheese. That's that is a pasta dish. That is true. That is a pasta dish. Cheryl. Oh man, I love the turn of forest. I also like Cheryl's design. It's just like you know, a nice, a nice person in the forest. You know, we have the chance for an encounter here. So, whatever we find is whatever we catch. Hopefully, something that's not something we already have. Ah, boy. That's pretty abysmal. Two Wurmples? Really? Alright, guys, which one do we want to keep? The male Wurmple or the female Wurmple? Which one do we want to catch? Because. I mean, we're, the boy one's a level 11. I'll just go for the level 11. It helps out a little. Disarming boys. Yeah, we're just gonna catch the level 11 one. It, it just makes it easier on us. Like, this is, this is pretty bad. Like, this is absurdly bad. Uh, pound. I'm sorry, I literally just killed- I just- I literally just killed the female. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna ever use a Wurmple on this team. I- I really do not think I'm going to be using a Wurmple on my team. And even if I do and it evolves, if it- if it becomes a Beautifly, it's like one of the worst Pokemon to use. Dust Tox, maybe we can use it. It has some versatility, but of all the Pokemon, not good. I'm sorry, Ahmed. I, there is the 20 second delay. I am sorry. I didn't notice it. I'm going to just nickname this one... Something just... Yeah. I'm not going to worry about this. I'm just sending it to a box. Oh, it has Bright Powder! That's actually kind of good. Never mind. It gave us a gift. And if I'm pretty sure, Bright Powder... Yeah, it actually casts a tricky glare that lowers the opposing Pokemon's accuracy. That's actually insane. What the crud? I... I did not realize that it had that. I'm gonna give this to King. Yo, Bright Powder? That's actually insane. That's actually crazy. I just took it out so we don't have to waste an encounter again. That's true. <coughs> That's true, I could have had an encounter where I ran into two Silcoons. Yeah. Let's quickly uh, deal some damage. The Silcoons have come to uh, avenge their friend. 
I'm serious, they've come to avenge their friend. But this is actually the best time to get some training in. Priscilla. We were able to encounter multiple Pokemon. And we can heal with them. We are totally fine. This is the best place to actually train up our team. Alright, get a good amount of experience right there. Switch over to King. I mean, there's only so many places we can actually find and catch Wurmple. That's the thing, though. Like, Wurmple, you either find it in a tree, or you find it here. That's literally it. You don't find it almost anywhere else. So, at the same time, it's okay, but it's, like, really bad. And Scylla learned Tackle! My goodness! They're so good at the game. Scylla has finally, has finally learned a move that they can actually use in this game. Okay. We need to get as many levels as we can, so yeah. Hard is falling behind. Eh, that's true. That's true. Except level they're level 17. So hard is level 17, Scylla 15, Dulahan is 14. Dulahan is the one that's actually falling behind. But that's okay. That's okay, because we have the opportunity to train an insane amount of Pokemon here. So we gotta utilize as much as we can while we can. And I am sorry if the stream does look a little, uh, if it's not looking the best. I am sorry if the stream isn't looking the best. Uh, I'm just, I mean, it looks fine on my side, but then again, it may not be looking the best on your guys' side. So let's go over and switch to King. We need to get as many levels as we can. And by doing this, we'll be fine. We'll be good. Spark. Ouch. I forgot that uh, Pachirisu can learn that. But that's fine. We just simply uh, do a water gun on that Pachirisu. Pretty sure we end up killing it. It's faster. The stream is as fine as they can get. I could maybe make it better. Maybe. I could maybe make it better, guys. I maybe could make it better. Sorry, boys. Please kill it. Yes, okay. Alright. A good amount of experience on Scylla right there. Bubble Beam. There we go. Now we have a solid water type attack. Now we're actually doing good. We're doing good, guys. Valkyrie level 18. Endeavor it may come up later, so we'll do it for attack for a tackle. Scylla level 15. We just need a few more levels, man. We can get there. We can do it. This chancy is taking a whole lot. TKGM, hi! Welcome into the stream, man. Welcome in. Uh, mind you, there is a 20 second delay. So if you say something, expect me to answer it after uh, a moment. Just saying. Just saying that now. I wish I I wish I didn't have to have it like that, but what can you do? Alright, what's next? Beautiful Eye. Oh, Beautiful Eye. That's a lot of experience. Switching over for Scylla. Yeah, but welcome to the stream, man. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Please, let me know how you are doing today. Gus, on the Chansey, that's fine. Fine. We don't care about the Chansey a whole lot right now. Uh, we'll swap over for Nala. Right now, we're kind of cruising. We're cruising right now through the Eternal Forest. Just We just need to get a lot of experience is all, really. That's the main thing we need. The views hurt itself. Swap to Zubat. Oh, I should have done that, shouldn't I? I should have I swapped over to Zubat. We'll do, we'll swap them over on the next one. We'll swap them over on the next one. The next one's Abra's. And I think we'll be fine if we uh, go with that. Level 16 on Scylla. Dulon, which is our Zubat. Actually, I'll just swap them over for the next one anyways. 
Yeah, we'll just swap over for Dulan right here. Yeah, we'll do it for Dulan. Getting a getting a gold bat and evolving into a crow bat would be insanely good. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, Supersonic. This is gonna take a long time. I just realized. This is going to take a long time. Looking great. No quality problems? Well, I hope there's no quality problems. Jeez, Astonish. That does nothing. Okay, yeah, this is going to take way too long. Going to Valkyrie. I'm glad that the stream does actually look good. I'm glad the stream actually looks good. Let's use wing attack. Let's just let's just kill this thing. I don't want to have to sit here for longer than I need to. Let's just get it, get it, get it. Good. But yeah, how are you all doing today? And for those who are actually in here, I don't think I've asked this yet. But what is your favorite? Oh, poison thing. What is your favorite Pokemon? What is your favorite Pokemon? Uh, please let me know in the chat. What is your favorite Pokemon? Please let me know. Uh, I will say mine. Mine is Gallade. Gallade is one of my favorites. It's another reason why I like the Sinnoh region so much. So, yeah. Doing Nuzl Nuzlocke 2? Oh, very nice. I hope it's going good for you. Which game and uh, what's your team looking like? Let me know. All right. We're going to go here. We're going to go over here. Switch. Nah, we're not gonna switch. I could do this one by one. Nah. And this, by the way, this is not a hardcore Nuzlocke. If this was a hardcore Nuzlocke, I would probably vomit. Because <laughs> I would not be able to do it with what I have right now. Really, I wouldn't. Yeah. Rotom? Ooh, Rotom. That is a very interesting pick. But Rotom, it's a very unique Pokemon. I think uh, Rotom is just... It's just one of those Pokemon you don't expect as well uh, to be a favorite. But considering that it's literally a prankster and it can evolve into... It can change forms into so many options. It's actually pretty cool. It's actually a really cool Pokemon. I thought that's a good one. Talonflame. Nice choice. Nice choice. It is a very cool Pokemon. Uh, I would say... I, to be honest, I've never, I've never actually used a Talonflame on a team before. But then again, I've only. But then again, I've only ever used uh, played a uh, Pokemon Y through like once. So what can I say? Hard level 18. Nice. That's quite a bit of damage. We're gonna just bite, get rid of it. We're good. Okay. That was actually quite a lot more than I thought it was gonna hit with. That was a lot more than I thought I was gonna get hit with. Level 19 on Nala, very nice. Yeah. You'd never guess, but Weeping Bell is my is my favorite. Really? No! I would have never guessed that, Sweeping Bell! Welcome into the stream, by the way. Weeping Bell! Okay. Okay. Hey, I actually do like the uh, Bell Sprout line. I do like the Bell Sprout line. I just also wish it was a little bit better, you know? I'm glad that they gave a little bit more love for the uh uh, by adding more moves and such. So yeah, also brilliant diamond. Okay. Last time you played was when you were in Portugal. Jeez. Okay, in Portugal. Okay, that that makes things unique. That makes things very unique. Uh, I mean, hey, you gotta have a good story with that. And brilliant diamond. Okay, guys. A lot of people crap on, and you know they hate on how these games were, how they were made. They just don't appreciate these games, okay? These games are still good games. And while I would say that Platinum is probably a better Pokemon game when you compare all five of them, you have to admit this game is still good. People are just wanting more, and they got their hopes up too much, and yeah, so yeah. Just started when I found your stream? Oh, well, I'm glad you did. Welcome in. I hope you're doing. I hope you're. I hope your Nuzlocke's going smart. What did you start out with, by the way? Uh, I think this. These games are really good. I think the games are really good, and I wish that they would give more respect for these games. Yes. Would I agree that they are not? 
the best games? Yeah, they're not the best games. Everybody has their favorites and everybody has different preferences. But for what it is worth, these games brought back something that wasn't around for a long time. A solid remake. And let's be honest, I kind of was hoping that they would come out with these games and that uh, they would allow me, or at least allow the next generation to play these, you know? Because, let's be honest, these games are, they're classic. They're, they're almost timeless. And the fact that they are, they were re remade for the sake of, now people call it a cash grab. They could be. They could have been made to be a cash grab. I'm just grateful they were made, so that way we have the next generation to be able to play through the Sinnoh region. It's one of the best regions, in my opinion, if not the best. Uh, at least design-wise, I think it's great. And and th let's be honest, that's also a lot of nostalgia talking. I, I I grew up with the original Pearl. I grew up with that. My brother grew up with Diamond. We literally played side by side. So I have a lot of I have a lot of feelings about these games. And at the same time, they could have probably been cheaper, not sixty bucks. They could have been like maybe. 40 maybe 50 and they probably would have been helped to its case a little bit but at the end of the day i'm gonna get my money back with this game i'm gonna be playing this game until i can actually say okay i've got my money's worth out of it that's what i'm gonna say now uh and hey why not do a nuzlocke on it which by the way out of all the games i've nuzlocked so far this is actually one of the hardest so far can i just say that now this is actually one of the hardest for whatever reason, I've struggled more with this game than I have others. And I think it's because, mainly because, they have upgraded the movesets and the different uh, teens that you can find in the game. They've made all of the gym leaders and Elite Four members insane. They actually made Eren, who at first glance is really not that hard of an Elite Four because he has a Beautifly and a Dust Tox, which hurts his team a lot. They, they buffed them to the point that I'm just like, holy crap, these things are actually kind of scary. So, yeah. Welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I'll actually include this in the actual... Uh, in the... Uh, maybe I'll actually include... Um, maybe I'll include this that rant of mine in the uh, final video when I actually put all this together into one full-on video. Gonna run from there. Uh, tur you're using Turtwig? Oh, okay. Turtwig's good. Arbok, but he's so weak. You know, that's fair. Arbok is a unique Pokemon as well. A first-gen Pokemon. Uh, there's a lot of po- You know, that brings another point, guys. You say that Arbok is weak, you're right. And there's a reason for that. If you think about the original Pokemon that came out, first-gen, they're not all the strongest. But also because, you know, they have to have a, a difference in the Pokemon stats and so on. But you have to remember, in a real-world situation, most Pokemon are not really that strong. I say that because you can't build a world where, where all Pokemon are insanely strong. You have to have some weak ones. You're building a world, not just merely build, building a game. Uh, in the world of Pokemon, the world of Pokemon, you have to have weak ones and you have to have strong ones. That's kind of what it should be going down to, in my opinion. So, if a Pokemon is, is weak, it's fine. It's a part of the world. It's a Pokemon that's unique. It's something that actually, you know, maybe people don't like to use, but it's fine. Uh, but I think a lot of people forget now that Pokemon is not merely just about battle. A lot of people play the games for battling. I mean, come on, that's why there's competitive battling. People like playing it for that, and there's a reason why so many people like certain Pokemon. It's their thing. I mean, obviously, people are gonna be biased when it comes to whether or not a game should be built around story, a game that should be built around gameplay. And I think the best game that worked around that was most certainly, uh, it was most certainly the black and white games. Okay. Uh, Mudkip's your favorite starter. That's a good choice. One of the best. Altaria is also really good. Same region as Mudkip. I can see that. You know, I kind of wish Pokemon as a, 
as a franchise did what they did with uh did what they did with the uh, the Unova region with the black and white games. Bandit is cool. Uh, a lot of Hoenn Pokemon in there. <laughs> I really wish that Pokemon would do what they did with black and white and give you an entirely new region where all the Pokemon are new. You're learning the game. All right, we got to train a little bit before we keep going. Like, give you an entirely new experience where you're not always relying on Pokemon you already know, where you have to learn the game, learn new things, you know? You know what I'm saying? Ah, I don't know. I'm just... I'm just voicing my opinion right now. I wish they would do that, where they would... give us a new region. Don't just fill it with all the Pokemon from uh, previous regions. And give us a legit new region with all new Pokemon, where you don't have to rely upon Pokemon of the other regions for it to be good. I mean, there. I mean, yeah, people hate on uh, black and people hate it on black and white because they didn't have any of the uh, original Pokemon or the ones from previous regions in it. But you got them in post game. You had to learn the game. People hated it because they didn't get something they were familiar with. But the thing is, are you playing the game because you're only playing it because certain Pokemon are in it? Or are you playing it for a new experience and the new Pokemon? That's a, There's a difference. I want the... I, it's just me. It's just me. And I'm sure there's a few other people who are like that too. But I want them to give us a legit new region with all new Pokemon where you don't have to rely on all of the previous Pokemon. You have to learn the game. You have to learn the new Pokemon. Give you some like something new. Give us something actually really new. And yeah, post-game, give us all the original Pokemon back. Like, why not? Do that. That's good. That's cool. But give me a freaking experience where I actually want to go through everything, you know? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just ranting again. Sorry about that. Uh, you know, it's like the Alpha Sapphire since you found your 2DS in your basement. My goodness, man. You gotta go through all your stuff that you had again. Uh, also, uh... I'm glad that we do have a bunch of people in here, and I, I hope I'm not ranting too much uh, your ear off. At the same time, I have I have my opinions and my own uh, my own take on what should or should be or what could be. It's just me. It's just me. I'm sorry. But then again, I'm the one streaming it, so I can say whatever I want. Ha ha. Uh. And yeah, nuzlocking any game is also pretty tough. It doesn't matter which game you play. If you're gonna nuzlocking, if you're gonna nuzlock it, it's gonna be tough, uh, especially when you have limited Pokemon. But then again, that's the joy of it. That's the fun. That's the that's the that's how you do it. That's how you do it. They should. All right. Now here's another take. They should do a nuzlock. They should add a nuzlock mode to Pokemon. Okay. They should put a nuzlock mode into Pokemon. If they do that. I can almost guarantee that those games, the ones that have a Nuzlocke mode built into them, would make the game so much better. Because so many people would be uh, getting it to play it. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, Ahmed. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Okay, so I think after this battle right here, I'm going to move on. We're going to try and catch a new Pokemon, and then we're going to go to the challenge gym. No, no, it's not going to be good. Oh, it would be. It would be. Alright, let's just Poison Fang that Baneary. time freaking silcoons chance he's just healing itself help me out here chance come on there we go okay we're gonna move on to the next area 
We're going to move on to the next place we can catch something. And our options are going to be around the lines of a uh, Bronzor or a Ponyta. We want to get a Ponyta, but I'd rather get the Bronzor sooner than later so we can almost guarantee ourselves a Gibble. And yes, this is actually one of the best background musics. It's literally one of the best. I kind of want to stay in there just a little bit longer, but I can't. We have to move on. And we can't catch anything here because this route is connected to the route below, which is right before the uh, right before the forest. It literally connects with a, a bush. So we might as well uh, quickly grab these berries. You never know if we'll need them. You never know. And I think we're going to just go and immediately challenge the gym. Because I think our team is just strong enough that we just we just win. Really? Alright. Let's heal up. Actually, we don't even need to heal up. We are, Our team is already full health anyways. Okay. Okay. We're going to go and switch over Valkyrie. Oh yeah, we also meet Cynthia here. I forgot. And I'm pretty sure we get cut with this. Yeah, cut. Now we can use cut, but obviously we have to beat the gym and then we can use cut. So. Found a shiny in three games today already? Wait, what? You've already found a shiny? What the crud? Is your game hacked? Your game could be hacked. You might want to check it. But that's actually kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Uh, then again, if you're doing Alpha Sapphire, you might have a higher chance of finding it, especially if you've already played through the game a bunch. Let's ca let's get like uh, some energy roots and uh, like four heal powders. Why not? Yeah. Cynthia in the remake games is terrible. Mm. Tell me what makes her terrible. I'm curious. However, this is insane. I like how they actually did the statue different. Now you actually know what it looks like. But, dudes, pray tell. What do you mean by Cynthia's terrible? Please tell me. Alright, we're gonna quickly find a Pokemon here. There's an item here, too. Ponyta or... Oh, yeah, we can find Metatite. That's actually a pretty decent fighting type. That's right, we can find Metatite here. Let's catch ourselves a Metatite. Yeah, we'll quick attack it. And we'll, um... Okay, use Detect. Alright, now, uh, we just catch it. Uh, I already have a name for this one. I already have a good name for this one, so yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, TKGM, you are... No, I'll do this one. She's not the dame. She made the game pretty hard. She's not the same. She made the game pretty hard. Let's be honest here, guys. She is still insane in this game, okay? She is still insane in this game. Especially since her team got buffed. I mean, in Platinum, she had a Togekiss, which is fair. But still. Nah, it's like 5 in Legends RCS and 1 in Let's Go and Chancing Valley. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> We're gonna name this Metatite Dumpling. Why? Because its head is literally like a dumpling, okay? And I'm going to send Dumpling to a box. But that's unfortunate. Uh, that's like this. Cynthia is still insane in this game. And I will stand by that. They just made her more terrifying. And let's be honest. They could have made her much more scary if they put Mega Evolution into this game. If they put Mega Evolution into this game... She would have been almost unstoppable by normal standards. Let's let's be clear here. Intimidate. Uh, da, 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 da. We're gonna go. Yeah, we'll go voodoo. We do need to try and catch ourselves a bronze ore. We need to get a bronze ore so bad. We just need to find and catch a bronze ore. We find and catch a bronze ore. We're like golden. We just we just need to get a bronze ore. We just need to find a bronze ore. I mean, we also want to get a ponytail, but 
We need to find our bronze or because the Gabi the Gibble line is just so much better than getting just a normal fire type. Nala, level 20! Woo! Okay, guys. This is Mount Cornets. I got a revive, I'm gonna sell that. You first tried something, but I lost the last guy in Leaf for this. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's Lucian. I know who you mean. I know who you mean. This is Mount Cornet. We can find a Bronzor here. We just... Yeah. We just need to find a Bronzor here. Elixir! We do want that Elixir. Come on, give me a Bronzor. When do you think are getting a Mega Evolution in ZA? Let's be clear here, guys. In Legend ZA, the game is did a criminal thing. I say it did a criminal thing because out of okay, we caught a Meta type. That's actually good. That we caught a Meta type. We have dupes clause on. We're good. The game of X and Y did Mega Evolution criminally because out of all the Pokemon in the game of X and Y. Almost not a single one in from the actual Kalos region mega evolves whatsoever. The only ones that do are Greninja because of Battle Bond and Deansi, which is it's a mythical. It doesn't work. You can't you can't really account that. If there are any Pokémon that deserve it, hope for a good nature bronzer. I would like a good nature of anything. Of the Pokemon I think should get Mega Evolution, I think Delphox and the Chestnut. Those two need it. They need some hard love on that one. Seriously. If they don't get it, it's going to be really unfortunate. Now, there's a few other Pokemon I think could definitely get it. And I think that would make sense for them to get it. Uh, the Meowstic. Meowstic could be one... Oh. Gosh dang it. Okay. Oh, uh, we're catching a jingling. Great. Now stick would be a Pokemon, I think could get it. It would make sense. Uh Avalug uh did get a regional form with Hasui. But at the same time, it could have also gotten a uh, Mega Evolution where it like becomes instead of flat it goes like up or something you know something along those lines I'm not sure um don't lie me I'm just gonna nickname these ones real quick Bell Sento box we don't we, we're not gonna use Bell right now ah <sighs> no bronze ore all right <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. That is not good. That's really not good. That is really not good. What do I think is the worst and best Switch Pokemon game? Pokemon game? I guess that kind of depends on what you're inter interested in, but... Pokemon wise, I don't know. Maybe we didn't catch a bronzer as a sacrifice to guarantee the gun truck. Well, it's fine. 
We still have another opportunity to find and catch a Bronzor, I'm pretty sure. But still... It's not the best right now. It's fine, guys. It's fine. It, it's, it's fine. I guess there's more of a 10 second delay, actually, now that I look at it. Okay. I don't know what the worst Switch Pokemon game is. I can't really say it when I also haven't played all, all, all of them. But if I had to say, give my piece about which one was the worst when it came out, Scarlet and Violet. Hands down, those were the worst games that ever came out when they came out. If you, and I'm sure you've seen what happened when those games came out. They were not ready to come out. They needed a lot more time in the cooler. Like, a lot of time more in the cooler. I mean, with the amount of glitches they had, with the amount of time it takes just to do certain things, there was absolutely no way it was possible. Alright, I'm gonna swap over real quick. We're going over to, uh... I might as well go into go to Al Valkyrie right here. Uh, and that's just me. That's just me. They were just a cash grab. Okay, a lot of people say cash grab a lot. Let's be honest here. All the games that Pokemon makes are for money. They're meant for money. Now, whether or not the people making them actually have the passion to make a quality game... It shows in what they actually make. Legends Arceus, or Larcus, Arceus, whatever you want to call it, those were quality games. You can see it. It would show. But at the same time, Scarlet and Violet, I've heard this a lot from a few people, the games Scarlet and Violet, you can tell that there was a lot of work done in the Area Zero. That shows that there was a lot of... Uh, there was a lot of passion being made into that part of the game. And it seemed like the games were going to focus a lot on past and future. Which it would have been amazing. It would have been the probably one of the better concepts, really. But they didn't. So, yeah. You you literally clipped into a building? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's... <laughs> From everything that's been seen in the games of Scarlet and Violet... I really wish they were better, but they're not. And as much as people can say that they are good games, all I can say is, yeah, at this point in time, the best thing that they are is a good game. But is it a game I want to go out of my way to buy? Not really. My mind used non. non <laughs> oh, man. Whoa, what the crud? It has... They changed some things in this game. They gave this freaking voodoo rest and sleep talk. I don't think that's from the original game. That is interesting. That's very, very interesting. Hmm. We're gonna go with Denal for this one. Ahmed is feeling drowsy. I'm sorry if, if you're feeling drowsy. You can take a nap, man. If you need to go, you need to go. Uh, I do recommend, if anything, uh, maybe do a few jumping jacks. That's an idea. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Do we, we are taking a bunch of damage. But we're fine. We take those. Poison point? I'm being hit with every single type of status condition in this game right now. We got poison, stun spore. We even got hit with like leech seed. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly go over to Valkyrie and just one shot this thing. I've never realized that some of these Pokemon had rest and sleep talk of all things. That's so annoying. I, man, they did change all the Pokemon attacks. Just caught a shiny Starly. You already have one, so it's not as high but cool. Dude, a shiny's a shiny. You might as well keep it. Eventually, you'll have a whole flock. Another poison point. Did they up the odds of poison point? That's insane. We have level 20s across the board right now. Two level 18s. We're good. 
Um, this is actually getting kind of ridiculous. I'm gonna go and heal real quick, and then come back. The amount of well, no, actually, I don't need to heal just yet. I'll heal right before we go uh, uh, go against uh, Gardenia, and I'll put that on. And we'll switch. We'll just get through the rest of the gym pretty fast. And we'll be fine. We'll be fine. That, that actually reminds me. What is actually a shiny Pokemon that you think is probably the best shiny Pokemon out there? Because there's a lot of Pokemon that are shiny that are really good. And some that just stand out above all the rest. You know what I mean, guys? You know what I mean? What is a shiny Pokemon you think stands out above the rest of the others? Like, let me know. Uh, personally, I do kind of think Naganadles is top tier. Like, come on. It's literally, it, it literally is like a hornet. And it looks like a, a hornet or a wasp. Which is crazy. It's really cool. Uh, I think that one's like one of the top tier, uh, in my opinion. But obviously there's more. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you, like, let me know, let me know. Shiny, okay, that one's true. Okay, you're both right, you're both right. Shiny Hisuian Zorwark is actually top tier. It's like, it's it, it's like a, if we had like S, if we had like a, like a, a like let's say a F tier to a S tier, these ones are like S, S tier, you know what I mean? These ones are above the standard. These ones are above. Shiny Replaza, I agree. I agree. Shiny Yasui and Zorwark, I did forget about that one. That's true. That's actually one of the best in my... I agree. I agree. Uh, but I do think the Naganail one kind of stands maybe similar to theirs. Maybe just below those ones. But you gotta admit, design-wise, it just works. It just works perfectly. Um, I'm trying to think what other ones would be re are really good. Um, what do you guys think? I mean... Oh my gosh, I... Okay, let me... I know there's a lot of them, but here's an idea. If there was a Pokemon that could have had a shiny that you think could have been better, what Pokemon do you think could have should have had a better shiny? And how would you say it should be better, you know? Shiny is... Shiny Mega Beedrill? Okay, okay. Me shiny Mega Beedrill, gotta be specific on that. Uh, but what Pokemon do you think should have gotten a better shiny, and how would you have improved it? How do you think a certain shiny could have been improved? Like, let me know. Uh, I'm also trying to think of one for myself, because I think one that could have definitely been better... Let me also do this real quick. Uh, one that could have most certainly been better, in my opinion, is Gengar. Gengar... Could have actually had something where similar to uh, similar to Ghastly, where his gas was blue. They could have made Gengar, maybe made him like more of like a, a blue as well. You have like seven shiny Gengars. It's actually annoying. It's not even good. That's true. They could have made Gengar like a white. It's shiny being a white, like an actual like ghost white. Oh come on, that would have been insane. And let me say this. Let me throw this one out there too. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time is Darkrai, okay? Garchomp Trump should have had a good shiny if it's followed with pre Yeah, I agree with that. We're gonna be beating uh, er uh, Erica real quick. But I think Darkrai should have actually had a better shiny. Like, let's be honest. Shiny Darkrai would have been absolutely insane if it actually had a better shiny. It literally just changes a, like a slight pigment on one on like its collar I'm pretty sure or something like that or maybe it's just the black cloak it just changed a little bit they could have made shiny dark cry insane but they didn't which makes it sad all right we're we're taking the we're going to be literally destroying Erica with like literally just uh Valkyrie oh maybe not oh they have reflect they have reflect that's not good. That's not good. Yeah. It is white, but just in mega form. Yeah. Look at that. I sh maybe I should. Maybe I should. 
Yeah, for Gengar. Yeah, for, for Gengar. But they could have kept it for, for original Gengar 2. That's the thing. That would have been better. Quick. Oh, I covered. Ooh. It's going to It uses Race Relief, which tells me that it doesn't have any other better moves. So I'm going to wait out this uh, Reflect of theirs with a double team. I'm going to be a jerk and just raise my evasiveness, like, to a high degree. Oh, yeah. And Reflect wears off. We're going to do a few more double teams, and then we're just going to just destroy her. Yeah. Don't get me started on how terrible Tyranitar. Oh, my gosh. Tyranitar. Oh, the... Oh, my gosh. Okay. I do have a take about Tyranitar. If they wanted to make Tyranitar an insane shiny... They could have made it to where it was a sh like silvery, or if it was golden, like give it like a silver metal sheen to it, or a golden sheen. Really, just amp it up on that. You know what I mean, guys? That would have been insanely good. Everybody would be after a shiny Tyranitar. Everybody. It would have been so good. Uh, like you know, gold and silver. That's the game it was introduced in. It's the pseudo legendary. Give it a gold and silver sheen. It would have been insane. Similar to like how the, uh, give me like similar to how like the GS ball was, which by the way, I'm, I really hope. Now I say this from, for myself. I want them to make, uh, the Pokemon in, I, I, I want them to do the next games justice for, uh, Johto. I would like them to not necessarily do what they did with BDSP, but just, you know, do it a little bit better, you know? Shiny Umbreon, overrated. I have one. I don't know. It's okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think Umbreon's is fine. Umbreon's is... It's fine. I mean, it... it what, what more are you going to do with it, really? They could have, like, made it black and, and turned it into, like, maybe a green, similar to Espeon's or something. I don't know. They could have made it interesting. Oh, wait, it didn't have Reflect Up. Oh, my gosh. Fine. We'll just wing attack it. Ever seen a shiny Sableye? Pretty sweet. Gold skin with emerald green eyes. That's true. Sableye's is actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It's actually pretty good. All right, we get rid of the Turtwig. wig. I'm, I'm wasting too much time trying to do this right here. To be honest, I need to do like a... Uh, I need to look up... Oh, my gosh. I could totally do it. I could totally do a... Uh, a video where I just rate the shinies of Pokemon. You know how they had okay. You know how Markiplier came out with the Smasher Pass every Pokemon video. I could technically do that. I'm not. But what I could do is rate every shiny Pokemon. Rate every shiny and rank it from like uh, F to S. I could do that. It would that be so good, right? Nah, it's got chest of berry. Nah. Citrus berry, sorry. It's silver eyes. Yeah. Is it? I might need I mean I might need to look back at uh at Sableye again, maybe. Alright. Wing attack. Done. Okay. Easy! Just spam double team and you win. There we go. Level 22, level 22, level 19, level 21. Scylla is one level away, guys. One level away. And we got ourselves a beast. <laughs> All right. Thank you, uh, Erica. Thank you, Erica, for not killing one of my Pokemon like every other time. Because the last time, two times I attempted this, mind you, this is the third attempt at me trying to do this Nuzlocke. I had a Kadabra and I lost it both times to guess who? Erica. I kid you not. It was stupid. It was actually stupid. Alright, we got Grass Knot. Woo! Overrated, underrated would actually be a better idea since Mark only had two options. That's true. That's true. That's true. I could do that. But then again, I would have to figure out whether or not a shiny is overrated or underrated before uh, doing it as well. So I know whether or not to rate it uh, underrated or overrated anyways. You know what I mean? 
Emerald eyes, normal. Shiny sable eye has silver eyes. Oh, you were talking about the mega. Okay, you're, you're good, man. You're good. Also, what do you guys think I should have for lunch? You're both wrong, both right. Hey, as long as you're working together on this, we're good. All right, so what do you think of... Oh, man. Guys, I'll be honest. I, I'm kind of sad that I'm actually going to be leaving for... Um, for the summer so you guys may not know this and I'm going to be I I'm gonna be making a video about it soon uh, I'm going to be leaving um, YouTube for a good several months maybe even till the end of this year at least till like December ish maybe I don't know I'm letting you know this now. I'm going to end up be leaving YouTube for quite a bit because uh, summer job. Uh, it's going to be... It's going to take up all my time. I can't try and focus on two things at once. And at the same time, because of that, I'm trying to do this stream, get these, uh, get these streams done. And then I'll come back and bring it all back up and maybe continue. I'm just saying... I'm going to be gone for quite a little bit of time, you know? Uh, I'm going to be making a four... I'm going to make an official video. I'm going to make an official video on it. It's not going to be very long. It's going to be very short and simple. Um, and I'm going to be saying this now. I'm going to expect... Most people are not going to be staying on the channel. Because I'll be leaving. I know that's going to be the case. And I'm wanting to, when I get back, do more with YouTube. I want to reach a thousand subscribers. I want to... What country I'm in? USA. I'll, I'll say that. I can say that. But, you know... It's... It's just kind of how it is. I'm, I'm letting you know this now. So, I'm trying to get as much time as I can while also preparing for... Uh, my job. My job. So... Yeah. And what do you mean no? What do you mean no? What do you mean no? What, what, what do you mean no? Like, come on, USA is great! I mean, come on, could you not tell I have an American accent? Come on, man. Uh, but then again, it's... It's okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay. It's, it's not the end of the world. I'll be coming back, I promise. That being said... Um, it's, it's just a transition. I'm, I'm basically making a sacrifice of not doing YouTube. Oh, you're right. I did forget to turn off the battle effects. You're right. I'll, I'll switch those over. Thank you. I did forget that. Yeah. And I make, it's a sacrifice on my part because I want to be able to earn enough money to go back to college, do all that stuff get at least something under my belt at least with a degree and with that yeah oh i can actually attack with this oh great <laughs> bubble beam so yeah um just just saying it now though i i've mentioned it in my other streams as well i'm pretty sure and uh yeah but it's fine i'll be coming back i promise i'll come back it's just gonna take a good at least five months, okay? I just, I, there are some things I gotta prioritize because uh, YouTube doesn't earn me anything. I earn absolutely nothing by, by doing this. So yeah. So yeah. Um, I'm not crying. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep him. But anyways, we, uh, we we move on. We move on. I'm, I'm sad that you're leaving. I'm mad that you're American. <laughs> no, it's fine. You can admit it. It's fine. I, I can take it. I can take it if you don't like I'm an American. I can take it. Uh, you don't have you don't have to say that for my sake. I can take it. I can take it if uh, you don't like that I'm an American. I can take it. Uh, but the thing is, when I come back, I want to come back uh, full swinging because. I really do. If you can finish this Nuzlocke and upload a minimized video uh, with voiceover, you might get to 1k subs before your summer break. That's the thing. That's my plan. I have 
literally, I will say this now, I have until the end of this month before I leave. And I'm still doing studying and I'm still trying to be prepared for the job. Dulahan level 20. So while I am saying this now, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have to hard work on this video. And it's gonna be tough. It's, it's going to be tough. And I think what I'm gonna do is at the end of the video, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. At the end of the video, which is gonna be this video, which is all the streams put into one, uh, I'm going to probably put in like, yeah, just so you know, I'm gonna be gone. I was hoping I could get to 1k subs before leaving, but unfortunately that's not the case. End of April or May, this month of April, I have le literally like less than two weeks and I'm gone. Bouncing your life is a must, you can't ignore it. That's correct. And, um, uh, that's just, it, it was, it's a sacrifice on my part to not pursue this hobby, this goal of mine to, you know, do more on YouTube, but what time is it right now for me? Uh, 1.42. I actually need to go get lunch soon. <laughs> uh, but, uh, we're gonna get through this area first. Uh, and uh, we'll move on. What should I get for lunch, guys? What should I get for lunch? I mean, I could definitely make something. Uh, I could make something, or I could uh, do something else. I don't know. Okay, Scylla is literally like level 19. I need, to, I need to do a little bit of switch training with them, I just realized. Let's get Scylla up here. Wait a minute! Hold on! I just realized something! Hold on! Hold on! I'm grabbing that bright powder! I'm gonna swap held items with Valkyrie! Because Valkyrie has double team? Oh! It's funny, it's 10 p.m. for you right now. Jeez, man! Get some sleep! Get some sleep! I mean, let's be honest, everybody- I've had people from, uh, I've had people from Italy, I've had people from Canada, I've had people from- uh, I think Scotland, maybe? I think I had one person from Scotland. Or was it somewhere else? I can't remember. Something can, that can give you energy would be great. That's true. I just need... Hold on. I forgot. I had these. Yeah, but what should I have for lunch, actually? I kind of need lunch. I'll get it, uh, once I think I'm done with this stream. I have a very specific place I'd like to go to. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab it. I have a few Kit Kats. Kit Kats are goaded, by the way. I would say Kit Kats are my favorite chocolate, uh, candy at the moment. Man, you're also 10 p.m.? What the crap? Not Europe. I don't think it makes sense if you're in Europe. It makes more sense if you're maybe like, uh... Where, where would that be? More in the lines of, uh, Africa? No, probably not Africa. Uh, Australia? Try looking in Middle East. Jeez! Middle East? Jeez! Isn't the Middle East kind of dangerous? I mean, I actually don't. There's, there's just a lot of things going on. Uh, India, maybe? I also have no, I also no disrespect to anybody living anywhere. Just saying, no disrespect to anybody living anywhere. We're all fans of Pokemon, that's what matters at the end of the day. I find this kind of funny. I got a fish that's flopping. They got a bat that's, uh, that's flying. And it's just, uh, just kind of funny. I'll be honest, just...
Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're going on. We're moving on. I'm sorry, I just found that funny. Uh, we're gonna go with King. Under Greece. Uh, let me take a guess. Italy. Cyprus? That's an idea. That did nothing. Egypt. Whoa, Egypt. Hot dog. We got an Egyptian. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Would you be considered an Egyptian if you're from Egypt? I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah. But dang, Egypt? Ooh. That's pretty far. Mm -hmm. Dang, we got people from everywhere. I mean, it's kind of cool, though. It's actually kind of cool how, like, USA, Egypt, uh, Italy, uh, all these different places. It's actually... Let's be honest, they're they're both really close to each other. They're, like, really, like, on the edge when it comes to countries and such, so, yeah. Uh, I think it's actually really cool how that people are able to actually communicate with each other through the lines of, like, something like this. Like, come on, I, I don't think I'd be able to ever meet some of you guys in person. Not, not really. But it's crazy that we're able to even communicate and even share, like, very specific similarities across something across the world. I think it's actually an insane thing. It's actually really crazy. All right, Scylla's level 20. Woo! Let's get ourselves a freaking Leviathan. Uh, whirlwind? Nah. All right, guys. Yes. Yes. Are you repeating but half Arabian? That's kind of crazy. Hot dog, we got ourselves a Gyarados. Woo! Okay, that is one of the best Pokemon we could have gotten this early on. This is going to be so useful. The atrocious Pokemon. All right, and oh, bite. That's good. That's really good. Barely a 300 miles from Italy used uh, American unit, so don't get confused. No, you're fine. I can understand when, I, I can kind of understand kilometers as well. You're good, man. Okay, this, this is insane, guys. This is good. Okay, this is actually probably one of the best Pokemon we could have gotten this early on. It lowers its defense, but that's fine. We raise our special attack. I'd rather have that than luring attack or speed. This is a beast. And we have Intimidate. We have three Pokemon with Intimidate. That's insane. Three Intimidators. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. Okay, got to go, but you're doing great. Yeah, yo, thank you for stopping in, Eric. I hope you have a good day, okay? And we'll see you in the next one, okay? You take care. But now we got to actually go through with this whole thing. I actually, I kind of think uh, we're just going to heal up a little. And heal there. Heal there. And we can leave Dulahan. They'll be fine. We soloing till Jib 5 and 6. We might. We just might. The thing is, I did want to try and avoid uh, type overlapping, but at this rate, that's fine. I don't care anymore. We want to win here. We want to win. We don't want to make things, like, impossible. We want to win. Now, here's the thing. I'm trying to keep... I am trying to keep the level cap on, okay? I am trying to keep the level cap. And because I'm trying to keep the level cap, it means we can't get any of our Pokemon beyond level 30, guys. Level 30. And that's going to be kind of tough. But it's fine. It's totally fine. We bite. We use the mean look. That's not me. That's not nice. Alright. How insolent. Just take a bite of this child. Oh, well, I'll show you a bite. Bite! I probably should have turned the battle effects back on. Oh well, that's okay. But we're good. And now we uh, we begin. Uh, we start with Valkyrie. We're gonna start the intimidations. One. And if I'm right, this uh, this skunk tank also has aftermath. So we have to be incredibly careful that we don't kill it with a physical move. Uh, which is kind of hard, but mm, we'll, we'll figure it out. 
uses poison gas. We're poisoned. That's fine. I'm actually fine with uh, the poison because we're going to be switching out anyways to Nala. Who does the third, and I mean the third, Intimidate. <laughs> the Intimidate strategy is just too good. If we can get U-Turn or Volt Switch. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we need to get Volt. We need to get those. Snarl. Okay, that's actually a special move. That's not good for us, but that's fine. We're gonna go. We're gonna stay in a little bit. Okay, we're gonna use Spark. That does kind of a bit, and I think we're in crit range, so I'm gonna switch over to King. We've gotten three Intimidates off. Man, we gotta get Bolt Switch. We gotta get U-Turn. If we can get those moves, oh my gosh, we're gonna be destroying everyone. Ooh, yeah, flamethrower. Yeah, I forgot I had flamethrower. Bubble Beam. I hate my PC, bro. It has every problem you can think of. Oh yeah, does it does it overheat? Does it overheat though? That's the question. That's quite a bit of damage. That was a crit. Okay, I think we can take it, even if it's another crit. They poison gas us. That's fine. Bubble Beam. We just need to hit it one more time and we win. But I want to heal up just a little bit more. Uh, I'm not doing. I'm not doing the. Uh, I'm not doing hardcore rules where you don't use items in battle. That would make this way too difficult for me because I don't, I can't really trust my abilities just yet in that regard. So yeah, it overheats. That's not good. Uh, we're gonna bubble beam, and we kill here. Uh, you might want to consider getting a new one. Might want to consider getting a new uh, PC then. Hard level 22. We have 20s. We are all in the 20s. Even if we don't get a good bite, I think we're still going to be like, Cynthia's Garchomp is getting hit, going to hit like a duck. It might. It just might. Except, um, Cynthia's Garchomp will still have Earthquake. So, if we end up having, uh, end up having Nala into there, if, if they stay in and get hit with an Earthquake, they may just die. It's Garchomp, remember that. But at this point in time, Having a Intimidate Switch option is going to be broken. Of course, we need to get Volt Switch and U-Turn, and then we can really play around with it. Uh, we're, we'd obviously give U-Turn to probably uh, Valkyrie the Storavia. As for Gyarados, uh, Scylla, I don't know. I don't know what we could give him that would make him switch. I actually don't know. Ryan. Hi. How are you doing today, Ryan? <laughs> See, we could just shut off mid-game and he got to 220 degrees. Dude! That's... Dude, maybe you need to just... Maybe you just need to get a new cooler. Maybe that's what you need to do. Hello, Ryan. Welcome into the stream. How are you doing this fine day? <laughs> How are you doing, man? Welcome into the stream. We are doing a brilliant diamond nuzlocke. So yeah, welcome in. I hope you're doing good. Oh, by the way, oh we oh oh guys, you gotta remind me. Do we put in the effort of trying to find ourselves, guys, guys? Do we put our do we put ourselves through the effort of trying to find ourselves a fossil? Do we do that? I kind of want to, but do we really want to stay in here to just try and find a fossil? Do we? I'm curious. I I'm kind of curious. Can you try to find a shiny? I mean, I can try. Can I can guarantee that I will get it? Eh, it'd be kind of hard. Just bought one for like 440 bucks. Jeez. I mean, I think I'll give it a shot since I'm right here. I'll give it a shot. I mean, I'll give it a shot, guys. I'll give it a shot. I'll look a little bit. If we can find it, great. Ah. This is... I, I remember doing this a lot as a kid. Just finding everything and everything. Nah, we don't want that. We're looking for fossils. The Gabi Bronzor is more important. To be honest, you're probably right.
we got a prism. Yeah, I agree. Trying to find ourselves a Gabi a uh, Bronzor and then trying to get ourselves a Gabite would be better. Wait a moment, I forgot! This this place has Pokemon you can find. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on, hold on. We could actually find Pokemon here. I forgot about this entirely. The underground is an official place to find Pokemon now. Okay, guys. Uh, guys, do we know? Do we know where we can find things? The thing is that I just got it. Just got it five months ago for a hundred thirteen hundred bucks. Get a refund. All right. Let's see. Hold on. Do we know where certain Pokemon you can find here are? I, I'm curious, because you can only find one. I'm only allowing myself to get one. Oh, I forgot. Do I even check? Do I check? Uh, I mean, mm, we look here. What do we got here? Fountain Spring. That's a Bidoof. Bidoof. Gastronon. Ralts. Whoa. Hold on. We already have the Shellos line. We could technically catch a Ralts. I mean, actually, you know what? Give me the Ralts. We're catching a Ralts. If I can't get myself an Abra, we're getting a Ralts. Why not? I can't build it myself. You can look up tutorials, actually. I'm getting a Ralts. We're catching a Ralts. Man, so many intimidates. Oh man, it's a it's a female. I was act, I was hoping to get a Gallade. That's fine. We're gonna just quickly do a tackle real quick. I mean, Gardevoir is still good though. Gardevoir is still good. It also gets the Fairy typing, which I forgot. Yeah, let's get it. Life do what the crap? Yeah, we're getting the Ralts, guys. I may I may not use it immediately on the team though. Uh, let's use a Great Ball real quick, just so we can catch it. Gallade? Yeah, Gallade evolves from Ralts. Uh, which Trout falls into Curlia and then into Gallade with a Dawnstone. It's really good. Jeez. Yeah, but it's a female. And because it's a female, I, it kind of doesn't work. So yeah. One. Two. Do I gotta do more damage? I gotta do more damage. Ally Switch. Gardevoir is much better, even though I like Gallade more. I like Gallade more, but in this case, Gardevoir is probably going to be better because it will become a fairy type. So, I we go for it. We just go for it. I actually forgot we could get Pokemon here. That's insane. And it's healing. Of course it is. Okay. Um, so, Ryan, since we're also at this point... Uh, I'll, let's let let's uh, let's let Ryan give a name for this Pokemon, shall we? We need uh, we need uh, we need a nickname for this Pokemon. Come on, please. No, I might end up running out of Pokeballs if I keep doing this. I don't want to run out of Pokeballs. Come on, please, please give me a Ralts. One, two, three. Hot dog! Let's go. To take out something as Garnchomp, you need Gardevoir. Need no use can maybe. However, getting a guard this Ralts is insane. It's also level 25. This is so good. Okay, but we need a nickname, Ryan. Please, I'll, I'll allow you to do the nickname for this one. TKGM. I will allow you to nickname the hopeful soon Pokemon we'll be catching soon, maybe. So let's go. We're nicknaming it. Let's go. Is that is that what we're nicknaming it? We might. <laughs> Really should get an ice type. We have options up ahead with a Snover or Snover or Sneasel. Sneasel will be insane, but uh, but we'll, we'll we'll figure out once we actually get there. Uh, little dude. Okay, okay, okay. That's a little weird, but okay. This female Ralts is little dude, and I think for this one we're gonna add to the party. It's level twenty five. So we don't actually have to train it up at all, which is insane. So I'm going to be putting out... Oh man, this is actually kind of tough. Okay, I'm going to be putting Dulon in, I think. And we'll keep the Ralts. Yeah. It's fine. Wait, we take that. We take what we can get. All right, let's get out of here. We're good. We're done. We're done here. I forgot I need to buy some Pokeballs because I realized, oh wait, I don't have anything really to catch stuff with. I completely forgot, but that right there, 
That Ralts is our underground encounter. When I nickname it Pokemon, it gets cursed, so I'm fine. <laughs> fair enough, man, fair enough. Alright, let's uh, heal up real quick. Um, I, I, hey, that's insane. That, it's insane. Ruby Zuba is not good in this game, I don't think. It's good once you evolve it and actually don't, and don't have too much type overlapping, I think. Yeah. What other games do I play? Um, well, as of late, it's this. Uh, just trying to get the streams done. I've been doing a lot of Master Duel, which is Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, and then I've played a bunch of Hades. Hades is actually one of my favorite games out there right now. Especially as an indie title. It's insanely good. Let's grab a few Pokeballs real quick. Uh, a lot of a lot of Pokemon. I've done a bunch of Smash Bros, Mario Kart. I, mostly in Nintendo games, really. Uh, I've done Monster Hunter. A bunch of Monster Hunter. Oh, wait, hold on. For you guys only. Alright. This Premier Ball right here. This is important. There's a reason I'm getting it. And you'll see why later. Ryan, bro, I'm a sub. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it, man. Of course, uh, we just gotta keep moving on, though. There's a lot of good games out there that I like playing. Monster Hunter is one of those games uh, that I do want to get more into. Of. They have announced a new one for next year. Oh, I need a bike. Whoops. Um, they have announced the next game for next year, and I have Monster Hunter World, but I've never actually played it. Not, not really. I mean, I've done a stream or two of it, but... Uh, I need to actually sit down and do a grind of that game, so it's going to be really good. Of course, it's going to take a little bit of time, and like I said, uh, I am going to end up leaving because of summer for a good five months at least. Uh, Ryan, you probably didn't hear that, actually. So I'll be gone for essentially uh, the summer. Uh, reason is because uh, summer job and so on. So it's just one of those things. We're hoping for the Gabite. We are all hoping for our Gabite, but we have to get a Bronze Orb before we can do that. So, we need to first find ourselves a, uh, a Bronze Orb. And I am not aware of any locations that can give us it. Is Frostlass in this game? Yes, it is. Frostlass is available in the game However, you have to get a Snorunt, and I don't know where you can find Snorunt in this game normally. Actually, no. Now that I think about it, no, you can't. Snorunt is not actually available. So therefore, neither is, uh, neither would be Frostlass. Whoa. Huh, I went through that pretty good. <laughs> um, let me think here. There's only, there's Wayward Cave, and then there's Turnback Cave. We need to go to the Turnback Cave, I'm pretty sure. What's the rarest thing you've gone in Pokemon? Uh... What's the rarest thing I've gotten? That's a good question. I mean, if we have to count Shinies... I guess uh, I've caught only a few Shinies in my lifetime that didn't have games that specifically have made it easier. Uh, and those Shinies that I caught were from Pokemon Pearl, actually. A sh the first shiny I ever caught was a shiny Buneary, of all things. I was just in the Eternal Forest, and I was just like, It's got pink fur! What the- <gasps> Yes! Yes! Okay! Okay! Hold everything! Hold everything! We got ourselves a Bronzor! Holy crap! Okay, hold on. We're gonna just do a bunch of tackles. Okay. Uh, and then the next Pokemon I caught in the same game was actually a shiny uh, Ghastly, which is actually really cool. Okay, okay, okay. Give me that shiny bronze. Give me that bronzo. Give me that bronzo. Come on. Come on. And let me be honest here. All of the uh, shinies I've caught have been all up to chance. I had no idea uh, about shiny Pokemon up until that point. Okay, we're catching this thing. Come to Papa. Come to Papa, bronzo. You're mine. Come on. Come on. Yes! Oh, it feels so good! <laughs> this is the run! This is the run, guys! This is the run! Okay! And hey, Bronzor is even still a decent Pokemon in its own right! Okay! Okay! I am nicknaming this Pokemon, okay? I'm nicknaming this Pokemon just for the sake of naming it because it came up to mine. This is our salvation for us getting that Gibble. We're getting a Gibble to- We're getting a Gibble! Yes! Okay. Now. Now. 
that being said, I'm sorry, I, should, I probably should have looked at your names. Okay, I probably should have looked at the names, I probably should have done that, I'm sorry. Okay, that is so good right now. So many shines, but only like six for, uh, one in four, yeah, I, I agree. Okay, okay. Hold on, guys, hold on. I need to check something. The thing is, you can only get so many Pokemon in Wayward Cave. That's what it's called. But, there is a problem. There is one slight problem with it. There is, I need, I need to make sure of this, too. Is it possible that there's other Pokemon that I have not caught yet that are there? I have to make sure. So give me a hot minute. I need to check this. Okay. I have to make sure. Because I'm pretty sure there might be one Pokemon I have not caught yet that's in there. And I have to make sure. Okay. We do need to get... So we do need to get strength if I want to actually get there, I think. I mean, we could try, but uh, it'd be kind of hard. Let me just make sure of this. Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're at bad brushing teeth there, Richie. You're going to go, bye. That's totally fine. You guys take care. You're totally good. Y'all have a good day, and I hope to see you in the next one. I have to make sure of this. I have to guarantee this as much as I can. Love your work. Thank you a whole bunch, man. I, I, I appreciate it. Okay. We've got them all. Okay. We have them all. Perfect. 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 We have all the Pokemon. We've, I was wondering if there was like Onyx in there. If there was Onyx in there, I was going to get really worried. Because I'd be like, oh, I gotta find an Onyx now. Okay, same to the stream ends. Jumping Jacks really helped out. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, if at first you if at first you feel tired, do some jumping jacks. Okay, the problem is, I don't know if it's possible to. Ah, oh, man, we could have had a Ponyta encounter. That's fine. We have a Ponyta encounter later, anyways. We can work with that, and I appreciate that that you are staying with us. But, but. We are not done until we're done. Let me quickly see, let me see if I can actually get in there. Because even though I can get into the cave, we kind of need strength. Let me quickly take off this bike real quick. We're gonna register this as well. Okay, and uh, we're just gonna also get off the bike, okay. Come on, where are you? I know you're like in here somewhere. What the, what the crud? Are you down below? Can't remember. Pretty sure you're not. Ah. The thing is, there we would kind of need strength if we want to be able to have enough room to run around. However, in this game, it might be possible for us to actually get into the cave and just wiggle a bunch around and maybe find it. Uh, we have to kind of get over there. Maybe it's right here? Can't remember. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Hold on. Alright, hold on. So right here, we would technically we would we would want strength. And we can get strength if we beat the sec the next gym, okay? But it would take a lot of backtracking for that to happen. So, what I'm going to try and do. Is, is just see if I can just wiggle a bunch and maybe it'll if I wiggle a bunch maybe it'll do it I don't know but I gotta try right I gotta try because getting a gibble early on would be so much better because we can level it up ah you know what we've already guaranteed ourselves the gibble we've guaranteed ourselves the gibble we're gonna come back for it we will come back for the gibble once we get strength. Once we get strength, we're coming back for that, baby. We're coming back. Let's go. Okay, so we actually have now an insane, and I mean an insanely potential of a team. But first, let's get moving. We'll come back. We just need to beat the next gym. We come back, and we just 
We just plow through the game. That's what we do. That's just what we gotta do. The guaranteed gibble is what matters right now. And he's back. Welcome back. We will be getting the gibble after. We will be getting the gibble after we've gotten strength. We've already guaranteed ourselves the gibble. So, we just need to get the strength and then make it easier on us. So, let's get to it. Grab some berries. I'll just grab these ones. We're good here. Do, do, do. Happy day. Crap, kid. Yeah, shiny on Eevee don't mind. Hey, you do whatever you want, man. You're fine. Go, find yourself a shiny. Go, go get yourself a shiny. Go catch that shiny. And I will uh, continue to grind over here. What Pokemon should you hunt? Well, it depends on which game you're hunting in. Which game are you uh, aiming for? Uh, depending on the game, depends on what you can find. Am I right or am I right? Level 23 on Nala. Very nice. Alright, let's see here. Your move set's not too bad, actually, right now. I like Switch. Okay. Um. Uh, let's go with King. Uh, if you're in Legends Arceus or Arcus, I would say... Yeah, I'd say go try and shiny hunt a... Try and shiny hunt a Piplup. You know? Game depends on what you say, just any Pokemon. Let's go with Piplup, because we are doing a uh, diamond, uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl run. Go for Piplup slash Piplup line. Actually, Piplup. Specifically, Piplup. Reason why is because we started out with a Piplup, so why not? Jimmy Char. We got, we, I kind of, I really actually want to hurry and get through to the, yo, waterfall, what the crud? Yo, Brian, you're back, what's up? I didn't expect you to be back, I thought you were gone. Oh, you already have that one, though? Turtwig, do Turtwig then. And if not Turtwig, do Chimchar. <laughs> oh, but welcome back in, I didn't expect you to be back. I, to be honest, I really didn't. I thought you would have been gone forever. Alright, but hey, we just got waterfall? On a Gyarados? I didn't even think wa Gyarados learned Waterfall. That's insane. That's actually insane. But that's actually really good because we needed a water type attack anyways. And it's a physical water attack, which is even better. Oh my gosh, Scylla is going to be one of the greatest, the greatest Pokemon in this team at this point. It's going to be insane. I mean, there is still the type overlapping with uh, King. So it's kind of concerning that we do have that type overlap, but with how many Pokemon we're going to probably be getting later, having that overlap is better in the case that we do lose somebody. So yeah, now I'll check your streams every time I get a chance. Yo, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Which actually reminds me, what kind of games do you like to play, Ryan? What exactly are you a fan of? Uh, like, are you more into Pokemon? That's a, like Pokemon, uh, maybe, I don't know, Animal Crossing? That's a good one. Uh, actually, I actually have never really played an Animal Crossing game, but maybe one of these days I should. Luigi's Mansion. Maybe you're more of a Legend of Zelda person. Which, I actually am a huge fan of Legend of Zelda. I'll say that now. Nah, I'm not doing Swagger. Uh, Zubat. I'll keep it. Uh, Legend of Zelda is actually one of my favorite franchises. It is one of my favorites. To be honest, Pokemon and Legend of Zelda made up quite a bit of my childhood, actually. You have all starters of Sinnoh and Hoenn? Okay, well that... Go and find, um, I'm trying to think here, um, uh, oh man, I, I actually have to think a little bit now, huh, well, when it comes to, well, if we're going on the lines of Legends Arceus, Catchers, what team do you think you'll be fine to champion with? I don't know, I actually don't know, try and find yourself a Hisuian Quillfish, go for a Hisuian Quillfish, because that's actually a pretty good shiny, mind you. Um, to be honest, I can see us still with our starter, and if not our starter, at least Scylla. So one of the two at the very minimum. 
400 plus hours in? My goodness, man. Now, don't take this the wrong way, but 4,000 hours? Don't take this the wrong way, but get a life. <laughs> Jeez, man. That's way too long. Of all the games, holy crap. Yeah, cool. the uh, Hisuian Quillfish is good. Yeah. Uh, Breath of the Wild is actually one of the best games out there. Uh, I think Breath of the Wild is just one of the best games out there, especially for when it came out. When it came out, it won Game of the Year for a reason. Um, but for the team that I have right now, I can uh, I can assume that at least half the team I have right now is going to be with us on the way there. It's going to be, at least half of our team is going to be there with us. Of course, we're obviously going to be grabbing ourselves the Gibble. Whether or not we can keep it all depends on, uh, on this run as well. So, we're all fine though, we're all fine. Ah, yes, it's Cyrus. What's up, man? What's up? What's up, man? To be honest, I don't know what kind of a team we're going to have in the end. I'm, I can only assume that we're going to keep at least three of our Pokemon that we already have on the team. But as it goes, we may find better Pokemon. I mean, I did not expect to get a Rolts. I mean, having, in a, having a Gardevoir, a, go a Psychic Fairy type, in this game would be crazy. So yeah. I'm gonna check Pokemon Go right real quick. Wish me shiny luck. Hey! Pokemon Go is good. Pokemon Go is still good. That's the catching... That's a Pokemon trainer's uh, fe catching fever dream right there. Yeah. Good luck. I will give you good luck on the shiny. I did actually catch myself a shiny uh, Eevee in... Uh, I did... I'm pretty sure I did catch a shiny Eevee in Pokemon Go. I don't know. I haven't... I'd have to check... Uh, I'd have to check. It's been a hot moment since I've opened up Pokemon Go. I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere, so it's kind of hard to, uh, it's kind of hard to do Pokemon Go. Another Geodude. Nice. Okay. That's good. That's very good. Right now, I, forgive me if I don't talk too much, guys. Forgive me if I don't talk too much. Because I am going to be trying to just really go in there. Just really just get to the next gym as fast as I can. Got a shiny Tramp Inch? Ooh, shiny Trap Inch? Okay, one of the most underrated Pokemon out there is Flygon. Okay? Let's be really honest here, guys. Of all the Pokemon that they could have had in, in the Hoenn region... Flygon could have been a pseudo legendary. Or its stats could have been so much better. Let's be honest with that in that regard, guys. Let's be real honest with that. Uh, Flygon is insanely good. And I wish it was actually better. It was I, I, Flygon is actually one of my top ten favorite Pokemon. I would say that. I did make a top ten favorite Pokemon uh, video before, and I think I'm gonna have to try and do an updated one now with all the other Pokemon, but Man, Flygon, Flygon really deserved more love. It really does. Flygon deserves more love. To be honest, it's one of those Pokemon, out of all the Pokemon, should have gotten a Mega Evolution, in my opinion. Like Salamence, it's... How many po... I'm pretty sure almost every single Pseudo-Legendary, except maybe Dragonite, got a Pseudo-Legend. Like, a Mega Evolution. Besides, like, the newer ones that came after that. It's like, what the crud? Like, of all the Pokemon to get a Mega Evolution, you gave a Pokemon that didn't need it? Like Mewtwo? That one doesn't make sense whatsoever. But, uh, Flygon? Flygon deserves some love, guys. Flygon needs that love. Uh, and, it, when, and when it comes to Shinies in Pokemon Go, I've caught a shi I've gotten a Shiny Abra, which is now a Shiny Alakazam, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I've gotten a Shiny Jigglypuff, which was pretty funny. Uh, oh, there's my channel. Oh, Do you really want to play Brilliant Diamond full again? But I want to, I want Arceus and Brilliant Diamond. So, you do need the, uh, I'm pretty sure with Brilliant Diamond, you need, like, uh, some specific things for that, don't you? Don't you need some specific things to get, uh, Arceus and Brilliant Diamond? You need, like, a flute or something. And I'm pretty sure that you get that through, uh, a, a mystery gift or something. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure you get that through uh, through our gift. So, yeah. We do have this new encounter right here, by the way. Uh, mind you, we do have an encounter right here. Yeah. Oh, he didn't hear me. Oh, shiny Gyarados. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. Hey, Psyduck, we got a Psyduck. Woo! I'm sorry. I didn't hear ya. Sorry. I mean, didn't read ya. Really, I can't. I can't hear you. Now. You need to get Legend or Season with Darn Zenith, then you're good. That's true. Uh, we do have ourselves a Psyduck, so we're gonna catch ourselves a duck. Just uh, tackle it again, and then we'll catch it. Ooh, it's got water pulse. All good. So I'm assuming you found a shiny Gyarados? Shiny Gyarados is pretty good. I mean... Okay, I would say if if shiny Gyarados was to be rated overrated or underrated... Nah, I wouldn't say it's underrated at all. I, and I really wouldn't say it's overrated either. I'd say it's perfectly rated. Uh, hold on. Dewey. We're calling him Dewey. Sorry. I, I already had a name picked out for this guy. I'm sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. Berries. I don't really need berries right now. Ah, uh, battle! Now, this is what I would want to hear in a saloon. Oh, man. Like, come on. Like, get, you gotta admit, that piano's good. Alright, we're moving on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think a lot of the themes when it comes to these different trainers get overlooked because everybody's just reading through the text and then immediately go after. I had to stop for that one because that's, it's just, such, it's actually really good. I think it's really good. We need to get them evolves in, though. That's true. That is true. We do need to get that, yeah. Wanna get the only level 100 Pokemon I have in Legend of Arcus? Hint, it's a water type. Ah, uh, is it Samurott? Is it Samurott? It would make sense, because if you start out with the Oshawott, you know. I mean, it would have to be, if you have to think about all the water types. Yeah. The Syrian Samurai? Yeah, that, that's my guess, too. It makes sense, man. Nope, level 93 Samurai. Ooh, close. In other words, it's something else. But what? But what could it be? Hmm. What other Poke... What, it, oh, I have a Palkia. I have a Palkia. Level 100 Palkia. It's a water type, by the way. Oh, you just said it at the exact moment I said it. There is the slight delay, but I did say the Pokey, actually. Um, could also be a uh, Empoleon. It could be... It could be a lot of one. It could be a lot of them. But the question is, what would it be? Let's go ahead and heal up. Uh, could it be Gyarados? Could it be Gyarados? You need it for a side quest. Is it a regional form? It could be a regional form. That's true. It could be a regional form. All right. Uh, let's quickly move out. Not Gyarados? Hmm. A side quest? Kanto? Not Gyarados, it's a Kanto. What quest actually includes a Kanto water type? Oh man, what, what Kanto water type would it be? Not Lapras, right? K 
Kingdra? No, nah, that's Johto. That's Johto. Uh, Kingdra's Johto when it was introduced. Uh, Tentacruel? No. No, that is, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, um, mm. Yo, I got myself a Tux. Let's go. Kingdra is Johto and not an RCS. Yeah, it's kind of weird why they don't have that in RCS. Uh, not sure. I'll have to come back to you on that one. Okay, guys, we do have a battle with Barry, also known as the Algorithm. This, I do not plan to lose. So I'm going to absolutely obliterate him. It is an it has another evolution. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not, okay, so. It has another evolution. Is it Polyrath? Oops. You just said it the moment I said it. Oh my gosh. Um, it could be Polyrath. I, po I think Polyrath would make a lot of sense. Let's quickly uh, just destroy this guy real quick. Um, but... I mean, what the, what the crud? He uses Buizel right after? That's not smart. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's not smart. Send in Ralts. I think I will. If Ralts get please. <laughs> no, I'll put in Ralts actually. Ralts uh needs Ralts just needs one more level, and then it evolves. So, uh, except it is against Grottle. I'm gonna wait just one more turn before putting in the Ralts. I'm gonna put in one more before the Ralts. Polytoad is the the uh, Polytoad is Johto. It's, it has to evolve. If it's a Pokemon that has to evolve, it's gonna be something else. Uh, I don't think it's Squirtle. The Squirtle line won't be available, I'm pretty sure. And if it's Kanto, is it. It's not Gyarados. It's not Lapras. You know, I think I can get this one. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. A level one... What? Uh, hold on. You're saying the base stat total is 200? That makes no sense. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Base stat... In other words, what you're saying the Pokemon is, it's a level 100 Pokemon... Whose base stat totals 200. In other words, Toad School? No, it might be something else entirely. Let me let me take a guess here. Is it a Pokemon that is? Is it is this a Pokemon that is a part of a three-stage evolution line? I need to ask this. There we go. Oh man, dang it, we actually, we just needed one more level and we would have gone it, but that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which means that if it has a base stat total of 200, it means, oh my gosh. Is it Magikarp? Tell me if it's Magikarp. Yeah, I freaking knew it. <laughs> that makes a whole lot more sense now. We are also in a new route. It's a baby. It's a baby. We just need one more level on the Ralts, and then it evolves. So we're gonna take it. We're just gonna take it easy. Uh, we do need to catch a new Pokemon. We already have a Bidoof. We're not gonna get ourselves a Bidaril. A jar of honey. Mmm, honey. Mmm, honey. Already have a starling. Hmm, fine, dear. Not sure. Yeah. Okay. 
That's why I hate side quests. So, you got yourself a level 100 Magikarp. Why? I mean, I can understand, yeah, the side quest, but... Did it have to be level 100? I mean... Yeah, little dude. So, little dude will actually evolve uh, with one more level, but we'll take it easy because everybody else is actually at a lower level than them. So, let's get Sulla back up and going. Oh, hold on. I need to also put hard up a little. Yeah, as yeah, it had to. And then I most certainly have not done that side quest then. We're gonna battle these two real quick. We're gonna get ourselves. We're gonna get ourselves this. Uh, we're gonna get ourselves a Curlia once we actually battle and defeat the Bondline Junior, Nine Junior Preacher. If you find a shiny, will you swap it out for a Pokemon you have? Well, I am gonna be playing. I am playing this with a shiny Claws. So, hold on. Will I? That depends on what it is. If it's a shiny and it's already of one I already have, I'll catch. Excuse me. I'll catch it. I'll use it, maybe. But it does depend on what it is. Cause let's say I find and catch a um. Oh, I don't know. Uh, let's say I found and caught myself uh, another a Bidoof, a shiny Bidoof. What? What if I caught a shiny Bidoof? If I found and caught a shiny Bidoof, will I use it on the main team? No. Most likely not. I mean, if I got desperate, probably. It all really depends on what it is. But if it's a good Pokemon, yeah. I mean, if it's a if it's a good Pokemon, and I think I can afford swapping it out with another one, sure, I'll do it. I mean, why not? Oh, you. Now, let's say if it's a shiny Gibble. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. I'm gonna be getting myself a shiny Gibble. Of course, I'm not gonna be wasting my time trying to find a shiny. If I find it, I'm gonna catch it. You know. But the thing is, is even at level 100, it wasn't strong enough, so I had to max out it. What the crud, man? Okay, that person's just picky. That person's just picky. All right, we're going to quickly beat this trainer. We're going to have the experience share. It's going to be enough to get uh, get ourselves a Curlia. It's all good. But at the same time, we have to be very careful because we I am trying to play this with the uh, the level the level cap. Because I am playing this with the level cap, I have to be very careful. Our team cannot up get past like level 30. If any of them get past level 30, I have to box them. That's how I'm playing this right now. So I gotta be very careful. Which means at this point, I can't do too many more battles. Now that I think about it. Speaking of shiny, just found one. Oh, just found a shiny? What do you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. And is it worthy of using? There we go. Little dude, level 26. Valkyrie, level 25. Same TK, same TKGM, what does it stand for? I actually don't know what, what that actually stands for. Unless it stands for something very similar. There's a lot of like different, uh, uh, what, are, what are they called? What are they called? They're like, I can't remember. All right, we're gonna get ourselves a Karelia. Nice. Curlia is now part of the team. Let's go. Okay, that is insanely good. Let's quickly. Shiny Asui Gudra. Ooh. That's a pretty good one. Okay, let me check this guy real quick. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's what oh that's very funny. No, you're good, you're good. This is actually not good. I just realized its speed is raised, yes, but its special attack is lowered. Oh, and I don't have a means of changing. Oh my gosh. 
Uh, well, not the worst thing in the world, but not the best thing either. Let's be honest. I was, I was really excited, but now I'm looking at it, this is not the best. Speed is good. Speed is good. Special attack, no. So, at the end of the day, we do still have a good Pokemon. It's fine. Let's get in here real quick. We need to get ourselves the, uh, yeah. Oh, it, the, the stat-wise is not good. But hey, it's still a good Pokemon. We have to remember that. It's still a good Pokemon. Also. This is a new route. You got a cool first shot break? Nice. This is a new area. We can catch something here. Okay, we're getting Ghastly. We'll take a Ghastly. Ghastly's are pretty decent. Uh, evolve into Haunter and then trade it for a Gengar. We'll take it. All right, let's quickly... Oh, I can't hurt it. I just realized that. All right, we're just gonna do a Pokeball and see if we catch it. One, two, three. Easy. Didn't even have to hurt it. All right, TKGM. Would you like to do the honors of nicknaming this Ghastly, please? Uh, I've given everybody else a, a chance, and I realize I forgot to let you do a chance as well, so... Let's at least let you uh, name this one. Let's at least let you name this one. Alright, a Ghastly is... It's a Ghastly. It's a Ghastly. Alright, and it's a guy, so it could be anything. Um... Hmm? You want to name it hmm? Is that what I'm seeing? <laughs> remember, there is the slight delay, so you gotta remember that. Be very careful. I might do what I did with the other guy. <laughs> hmm. No way, I'm thinking? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You're good, man. You're good. Chill. All right. Oh, we're going to send it to a box. Good choice. Good choice. Actually, if we could... Ooh. That would be a good idea. Name him Mortis. Chill. Oh, no! Name him Mortis! That would have been so much better! I'm sorry! I thought you were saying chill as in the name. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just noticed... I got hasty and just did it. I'm sorry. That's on me. Thank goodness they have a uh, a name a name changer. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive me, Father Fryerson. <laughs> All right, let's use the super repel here. If you catch a dog like Pokemon, can you name it Stella? And she's got that traitus. All right. If we catch a dog like Pokemon, we'll name it Stella. Even if it's a guy, we'll do it. I'm sorry, TKGM. You were. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should have realized. Da -da 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 but however, chill is actually kind of not bad. I mean, think about it. Because you can teach uh, Gengar Ice Beam. I'm pretty sure, and it kind of works when you think about it. Just, just saying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, uh, blame the lag. Blame the lag. I'm sorry. All right, let's see here. Uh, no, we can keep him in. We're gonna go... Ooh, actually, I can do Bite on this for this. And we'll swap out for... Swap out for King. That's one dead uh, ghost. Now that I think about it, getting a Mischievous and evolving it with a Dusk Stone into Miss Magius would be pretty good. I mean, it may not be like the most powerful or broken Pokemon, but it's a, still a pretty solid Pokemon. And I don't think I don't think I've actually used a Miss Magius either, Mischievous or Miss Magius. Might need to think about that. Might need to think about that. So right now, the goal is just to. Get to the next gym. Get to the next gym. Beat it. And then go get ourselves a gibble. Alright, get the cleanse tag. 
And then we get strength. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're fine though, we're fine though. But yes, the goal right now is just get to the next gym, beat it, and then we can uh, go and get ourselves the Gibble, and I think that's where I'm gonna end the stream, uh, at least at this point. Just gotta hurry, just gotta hurry. And uh, do forgive me if I don't talk too much at this point in time. I am uh, I am trying to, uh, I am trying to hurry here. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, a revive in a cemetery. That's actually, that's, that poor taste. All right, uh, TKGM. I'm gonna give you an opportunity right here. I'm gonna give you an opportunity. We're gonna make this fast, okay? So, I unfortunately messed up your nickname, but we have another Pokemon encounter coming up real quick. So, Gibble can only be caught after you beat the 7th gym, by the way. I'm pretty sure no. Because Gibble can be found in a place called Wayward Cave. And I'm pretty sure you don't need... Actually... Are we sure about that? Hmm. To be honest, I've never really tested that before. But I'm pretty sure you can catch Gibble before the 7th gym, actually. Because Gibble can be found in Wayward Cave automatically. However, you do need strength if you want to get in there. So you kind of need to beat the third gym anyways. GKGM. We have the opportunity of catching either a Ponyta or even a Cricketune. These are Or Stunky. We have the opportunity for catching one of these Pokemon. So I'm going to throw this out to you now. Give us a nickname. Give us a nickname. Ponyta, okay. We have a Pokemon here. It's a it's it's a Ponyta. It's a female Ponyta, which is great, because we kinda need a fire type. Please do us the honor, TKGM, of nicknaming this Ponyta before we get to the point of me actually catching it. Cause uh we uh we don't wanna we don't wanna screw that up. All right, perfect. Perfect time to catch it. Let's catch. I'm under pressure, bro. I'll give you I'll give you some extra time, man. I'll give you some extra time. It's just a ponyta. You could nickname it anything. You could name it Rainbow Dash for all I care. It doesn't have to be something uh, impressive. It's just got to be something that you have, you know. All right, and while you do that, I'm gonna quickly snack on something. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, this one caramel one. Ooh, candy. Name her Amber. You got it. I don't remember any ancient Roman uh, god based off of a horse. That would technically be Neptune because he was the god of horses, technically. Amber, that's actually a really good name. I like that. Let's send to a box, and we'll hold on to Amber for the team. That's actually a really good pickup, because we need a fire type later anyways. So thank you, and I'm glad that we got that one. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's so good. So I'll be honest, I'm not really a fan of dark chocolate. But it's fine. Alright, here we go. Next place. Whoa. Real and Real's later good. That's true. And we can get uh, the egg. We can get the egg. Also, new route. 215. New opportunity to catch Pokemon. 
We do have a Meditite, so you are correct. But we also do have a Meditite already. Uh, that's on in the uh, in the PC box, so that is true. Getting Riolu would be really good, but we'll see what happens. I'll move. Over. I'll move forward a little bit. This area, we are. This is the area I was talking about yesterday. Uh, we have the opportunity of finding and catching Abra and Kadabra here. So, we might just end up catching ourselves a Kadabra. Just saying. Also, the fact that we still have, we have Scylla, the Gyarados on our team right now, is just insane. They, they take every hit, they deal so much damage, they're actually broken. get one. I'm hungry. Forgive me if I snack. Machop would be good. Bought into Machoke. Sudowoodo, not as much. Just saying. Sudowoodo's base stat total is okay, but it's a slow rock type. They probably end up dying soon. And we don't want to risk that. Burloom is actually one of my uh, favorite of the grass fighting. It's actually one of my favorite fighting types. Uh, the Hoenn region has so many good Pokemon in it. Like Burloom itself. Brevlum is like almost a must-have in, in most of my playthroughs. It's a, it's like a must-have. Then again, now that we're talking about fighting types, we do have Krogunk. We could catch a Krogunk. Evolve into a Toxicroak. I've never used a Toxicroak, but... Sounds pretty good, to be honest with me. Man, I gotta get some to eat soon. We're almost in the next city, guys. We're almost in the next city. Ooh, Shockwave. That's really good. You get flying types because the flying type gym is going out of the to beat. It can be. That's an encounter. That's our encounter for this very... This is, that's the encounter for our route. Hey. Kadabra. Try five times until we can beat it. That is a lot. However, we got ourselves a Kadabra. We're catching Kadabra. No shiny coalfish in the outbreak? That's rough. That's rough, buddy. But, we have a Kadabra. We're catching Kadabra. Come on. One. Two. Three. Let's go! Okay, we got ourselves a Kadabra. Woo! We still got the, we got the Kadabra anyways. Look at that. Um, let me see here. Uh, Ahmed, if you're still here, would you like to give a nickname for this uh, Kadabra that we got? Yeah, crunch. Ooh. Name it Hocus? Ah, uh, yes. I will def. I think you mentioned that. Somebody mentioned that before. We'll do Hocus. Shouldn't I try to get flying types? I could. Uh, except there's only so many flying types I can, get, I can get when I'm doing a Nuzlocke challenge. Which, by the way, I should be fine because we do have our Staravia. So we should be fine. I think I'm gonna add a uh, yeah. I'm gonna add Hocus to the team. I'm gonna swap them out for. Uh, I think I'm gonna swap them out for Hard. That way we have another Psychic type. So that way we'll have a, a little bit more of an advantage for this uh, gym coming up. When uh, when is my next stream? Probably tomorrow. Actually, I'm gonna try and do this as much as I can each day, uh, as much as I can, and maybe we'll get done by Saturday. At least that's the plan. Uh, let's see here. Alright. 
That's cool. Uh, my next stream is going to be tomorrow. I'm going to probably start at around the same time I started uh, last time. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Uh, it's going to be the same time as I started this one. For me, it'd be 12 o'clock. Which was roughly almost three hours ago. So yeah, Drifloom's good Pokemon. It is. Drifloom is good. I'll be right back. You're good. In this game, Drifloom is a very good Pokemon. Yes, I agree. However, the chances I don't, I won't have the opportunity of actually getting him. Unfortunately, we're gonna go with. We'll go Valkyrie. Valkyrie. In your timeline, uh, to get, it's going to be about 8 p.m. Yeah, it would be around that time. Why does that thing have Aerial Ace? What the crud? 26, 26. Very nice. Very, very nice. Here comes Gyarados. That's fine. It intimidates. We're going to do a crunch on that Gyarados. I'm going to swap Valkyrie out for Nala. Let's get let's get a little more Intimidate down on there. Aerial Ace again. Crunch, nice. And waterfall. That did way more than I wanted it to. Holy crap. Okay, uh... We'll go king again. That did way more than I wanted it to. I'm switch training, guys. That's what I'm doing. I'm switch training right now, don't you know? I'm switch training. Nice thing. Toga gets an Aerodactyl or good flying types. Aerodactyl's probably not going to be available in this. But Toga Kiss... Uh, I think Togekiss might also not be available either, so that might be a bit tough. But we'll see what happens, though. We still have a few more encounters coming up, and we'll see what we can do with them. Oh my gosh, really? Okay. Um, I'm going to swap out for Valkyrie. We don't, we don't want to sack anyone. No, at this point in time, we don't want to sack anyone. We don't want to lose a single person. And if I send out Valkyrie and they hit me with an Ice Fang and I lose them, I'm going to be so mad. Waterfall. We take it. Peck, get rid of the Gyarados. Okay. Now it's a two-on-one fight. Thank goodness. I have to be, I have to be very careful right now, actually. 26, 21, Brokus. Oh, nice. Now we just do some wing attack, the bubble beam. Pretty sure the last Pokemon's a Luxio. So I might have to swap out again. No, it's Kadabra. Oh, we can take a Kadabra. We can take Kadabra. Wing attack, bubble beam, Kinesis. That's fine. We just kill it. We're good. King is a beast. He he is the tank of this team right now. Same with Scylla. Scylla and King are our tanks. And they need to be and stay tanks. Because once we get to the water gym, we have to have something that can take their hits. Because at this point in time, we don't have too many Pokemon that can do super effective, except two of them. Alright. Okay. We're almost there, guys. We are almost there. We just... We just gotta... Hurry up. What's the next gym? It's fighting. So, because it's fighting, we're going... To, that's why I decided to put in the Kadabra. Uh, uh, the Kadabra so we can have another Psychic type on the team. Of course, that being said... Kadabra is still at level 21, and it may not be enough for this next gym. So, we're actually pretty solid right now with what we have, but we need to go do some shopping. Now, 
Now this is the main thing that I know I needed to do, and that was this. We need to go into this, and thank goodness they put this in the game. Because they took out the game corner, we can now buy TMs. And because we can buy TMs, it means I can get specific moves that are really good. Alright, let's see here. Let's get some uh, work up, service, and double team, flash. Okay. We got a we got our U-turn. That's good. And we're gonna buy here, we're going to be buying the moves we want the most of. We're gonna buy Flamethrower. Welcome back, TKGM. Thunderbolt. Uh, we're gonna buy Ice Beam. Don't you have rare candies? I have one. I have one rare candy. Psychic. Oh, that's so good. Dazzling Gleam. Dry Ball, Giga Impact, Fire Breath. Okay. What's my favorite attack? Oh, that's kind of hard to say. But I do like Eruption. I'll say that. Does Curly have Fairy Typing or Fairy Moves yet? No Fairy Moves at this point in time. But I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a Fairy Type. I mean, at this point. So hold on. Uh, here, we, here we are. Alright, so what I'm going to do here, we're going to give the Dazzling Gleam to Little Dude. And it is a Fairy type, so that's actually going to be really good for us. We're going to do it for the uh, Charm. And I'm pretty sure they'll learn Psychic later anyways. But Dazzling Gleam is going to be really good. We will give... Th I'm sorry, what? Scylla can learn Thunderbolt? Huh. Alright, I'm gonna give Scylla... I, I, I'm gonna give Scylla the Flamethrower. Which is gonna be really good. We're gonna do it for the Tackle. We have a Water, Dark, and Fire type attack now, which is really good. Um, who else do we have? Ice Beam... We're gonna give Ice Beam to King... And we're going to do it for Pound. Uh, I could give Thunderbolt to Little Dude as well, or Nala. In this case... I'm not sure. But U-Turn I'm going to give to uh, Valkyrie. And we're going to do it for uh, Endeavor. We'll do it for Endeavor. Now we have a switch strat in place. We have an actual switch strat in place now. I mean, yeah, Gyarados can learn, like, so much, right? It's like, what the crud? What is this thing made of? King's gonna be our dragon assassin. He might have to be, actually. But that's not the point. Ooh. Oh, that'd be so good. Oh, that'd be good, but... Kinda can't right now. I got a counter. I got a poke catch. Uh, okay. And we got those. We don't need those. What do you do? Let's recommend it. No, no, no. Do I think I'm good for the gym? Once I clear out all the trainers, I think I will be. But remember, her top Pokemon is a Lucario. And that's still kind of concerning. And the moveset's a little bit different than in the original games. There are a few max potions. So I have to be very careful with how I take this gym. Grab the Ultra Balls. Yeah, we're, we're grabbing those. Actually, hold on. I need to buy a few more things. Hold on. I need some max repels. I'm buying a few max of them. I'm, uh, I'll buy ten. Okay, we've gone through our shopping spree. We're still good. We keep going. I'm pretty sure we are good for the gym now. So yeah, try to clean them without with Hocus. That's true. We do need to do that, but we need to be careful. Ho even that if it is a uh, yeah, if you beat the leaders, you have to face the lead four. Then you become the champion. That is correct. But we have to beat the current champion. And welcome back in, Despoido. Welcome back in. You have no problem fighting. Pokemon fighting is strong against. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Our Pokemon are kind of suited for fighting fighting types right now. Kind of. The thing is, Valkyrie is our biggest hitter, uh, along with Lil Dude right now. So, yeah. Curly, Staravia, and Hocus are super effective. True. True. 
Let's first clear out the gym trainers, and then we can say whether or not we are, uh, whether or not we're actually ready for this. So let's get a little bit of training in, shall we? Let's get through all these trainer battles, then we will be able to beat, uh, Mylene, Mylene, and then, and then we can go and test and see if we can catch ourselves a Gibble. Okay. Holy crap! What the? What is with their stats? Maybe I should have given a Psychic to Hocus. If I did Psychic, I would have actually. Well, that's not good. Um, I'm gonna have to switch over to King. That was way too much damage. Yeah, way too much damage. Ah, uh, Peck. The problem with Kadabra is that their physical defense is, um, pretty bad. All right, 27s. It's pretty good. We're gonna switch over to, uh, let's go over to Scylla, quick. Okay. Um, Hocus needs a little bit more levels, I think. Forgot. Yeah, Kadabra is a glad cannon. They are a glad cannon. That's right, they are a glad cannon. I wonder how many people have Machoke full body pillows. Probably too many, to be honest. <laughs> I know what you meant, Ahmed. I know what you meant. Uh, but I don't know if, uh, I mean, of all the Pokemon, they wouldn't be going for Machoke. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be going after Machoke. They'd be probably going for, like, Garchomp or Lucario or, or, or like, Machamp and stuff like that. Let's be honest here. But we also don't want to... We don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. Let's... I'll give Psychic to Hocus real quick. Because if we had used Psychic, we actually would have defeated the uh, Machoke. So, for Psychic, we're going to do it for... Ally switch. And uh, we also need to heal him real quick. Uh, let's heal up Hocus. And we'll just use the potion on King real quick, so we want to stay in here as long as we can. What, what am I doing? I need to battle the trainers first. What am I doing? Why am I moving these around? I just want to battle the trainers first. What the crud? I need to battle the trainers first. Okay. We battle the trainers first. We go heal up. And then we do the puzzle. And then we challenge Maylene. That's what we're trying to do here. And uh, w because we have Psychic now, we should be able to one-hit KO all of the Machokes in this, uh, in this gym. Not to mention... Uh, should be we're, we're incredibly faster there we go now we're actually getting it some levels up let's go level 23 very nice very nice another machoke nope but chop you better have to become champion can you go to other regions or something and get another championship that would be an insane concept if they ever made a game like that but no for each region there's only one champion for each uh for each game you can only go against one league to be honest, there's only one game that even lets you go against, uh, go into another region, and that is technically uh, the Johto games, which allows you to go back to the previous generation of Kanto, where you can fight the gym leaders there and then re-challenge the Elite Four, who have stronger Pokemon than them. But unfortunately, this game is not as open world as a lot of people would probably want, because there's a lot of regions. and if at any point they decide to be like, oh, uh, you can uh, go to the every region now. If they tried to do that, it would mean that it'd be hard to keep introducing more regions. You know what I mean? Um, so if at any point the game, uh, Nintendo is just like, all right, we're going to stop here with the amount of regions we're making. And we're just going to introduce more Pokemon as we go on or something like that. They would have to have a lot of regions. And I mean a lot. I don't know. It'd be cool if they did that. It'd be very cool if they did that. 
Uh, but it'd be cool. It would be cool. Bye, you need to get some sleep. I'll get a shiny quillfish tomorrow. Hey, I'm glad that you were with us, TKGM. You get a good night's sleep, and I hope you do get that shiny quillfish, okay? You take care. All right, so... All right, level 25, level 28 on King. That's actually really good. Recover? I'll do recover for the Psycho Cut. I'll do recover for Psycho Cut. It's actually pretty decent. Because Psycho Cut's a physical move, a physical psychic move, which is nice. But it doesn't work for, for a Hocus. Fury attack. Nah. Another Machoke. Here we go. All right, here we go. Sidekick. Get rid of the Machoke. We're good to go. Level 20 on King. Level 28 on Valkyrie. We are getting very close to the level cap. Aerial Ace? Oh, I'm taking that Aerial Ace. Oh, heck yeah. And we're going to do it for the... Uh, we're going to do it just for Wing Attack. Just because it is 100% accuracy. Keep the Quick Attack in certain situations. Uh, I kind of figured you could get, like, OG Pokemon. I said they'd be weaker and rarer, so not worth getting a new region. Um, kind of. New regions. Mo all Pokemon have their value in one way or another. But in the case of, of what you're saying right there, probably not. Probably not like that. It'd be interesting. However they want to design it, it would be interesting. Okay, so this is the last trainer right here. We beat them, and we move on. This is the last gym trainer. We go heal up, and then we, uh, and then we challenge Maylene. Metatite. Now ah, we can we can beat Metatite with a cadaver. All right, focus. Let me just see a little bit. Here we go. Psychic. Psychic. Oh wow, that actually killed it. What the crack? Oh, that was it? Oh. <laughs> I didn't notice they only had one. Whoops. Okay, that's good. Let's go and quickly get the team uh, healed up. And then we'll challenge uh, Maylene. What am I doing? I ride a bike. Ride a bike, go faster. Acrobatics is your favorite flying move. Ooh. That is actually a really good one. Hocus found to smoke the gym. Um, Hocus will smoke two. Well, actually, it will smoke all Pokemon except one. Hocus will smoke all the Pokemon in the gym except one. The thing is, that Lucario that Maylene has, it can take a hit. So, I can't risk it. Yeah. Aerial Ace is also a solid move. Aerial Ace is a solid move. Uh, what else uh, can we do here? Let's look at the team real quick. I mean... It, can it get much better than this? I mean, we can l get a few more levels, but with how this is good, with how this battle is gonna go, I think we got this. Done this puzzle too many times to be able to, to to fail at this. Let's be honest here. You progressed a lot. I did. I actually did. Yeah. Fire ground would counter. That's true. That's why I gave uh, Gyarados flamethrower as well. That's uh, one of the main reasons I gave it to him. In the case that Gyarados has to fight uh, the Lucario, which very well may happen. Having the flamethrower is just really good. Flying Psychic Fairy. Yep, that's true. Flying Psychic and Fairy are the main types you usually use to fight against uh, these Pokemon. So yeah, we're good. We're good. We we have coverage. The thing is, we have the coverage. We'll be fine. And we have multiple Pokemon that can take some hits. So yeah. Sully will. Sul, S, S, Scylla would definitely uh, smoke Lucario. But. Let's get the uh, battle effects back on. I try to do this only for special battles, obviously. 
I missed one, but uh, that's okay. Let's do this. Scylla. Scylla is the uh, name of, uh, of Gyarados. This is the run, guys. This I think this is going to be the, and I mean the run, for this game. We are going to absolutely annihilate these gym leaders. All right, Meditate's first. Never mind, I'm just back on my phone. <laughs> TKGM, you just can't leave, huh? Hey, we're almost we're almost done with the stream, okay? You'll be able to get some sleep, I promise. Alright, here we go. Psychic. Dead. Yeah. Uh <laughs> Okay. If they throw in the Machoke, we keep in. We just hit him again and they're they're dead. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Psychic! This should be another death. Dead. Easy. Last one is going to be the Lucario. I can't keep uh, Kadabra in this one. I can't keep Hocus in this one. Level 26, though. It's pretty good. We're going to switch. Uh, we are going to... You know what? Me too. Got to go in a few minutes. You're good. We're going to get out Scylla. We're going to get out Scylla. I think I'll end the stream here. Once we beat Maylene, and then uh, after we beat Maylene, tomorrow we'll start by going and getting ourselves a Gibble. That's what I think I'm going to do. How do you tag people in live streams? I don't know, actually. Here we go. We get the Intimidate off, which is really good. But now... Let's go Flamethrower. After you beat her, do people usually go around collecting and living more Pokemon friends for the completion, as in being the champion is the final mission? Uh, not necessarily. Being a champion is like the main goal of the game, but a lot of people also play to, uh, you know, catch other Pokemon or, you know, find other, find other legendaries and so on. There's a lot to the game. There is a lot to the game. And sometimes it's an experience where you just have to play to know. Scylla has, yeah, Scylla's got this. Oh, it was so easy! <laughs> it was a crit! We got a crit! Okay, that makes things so much better. Look at the level! Look at the level spread! 28, 28, 28, 28, 26, 26! We are gonna smoke this next gym. Oh my gosh. We're gonna be beating two gyms tomorrow, okay guys? We're gonna be beating multiple gyms. Imagine if it was Mega Gyarados versus Mega Lucario. The outcome would definitely be different if it was, because Mega Gyarados is part dark. So, let's go. Woo! That makes things a whole lot better. That makes things a whole lot better. Because I struggled with Maylene in the last one because we ended up losing a few uh, very key members early on. So, things are looking really good. Oh, that's right. I just realized we can't use strength until we beat a certain gym. Oh my gosh, I forgot. We have to... The only way we can get to the... Oh my gosh. You get... Mm, I thought you would allow me to use strength. We have to wait. That's fine. We, we, that's fine. We're gonna get the... We're get, we'll get the gibble eventually. We'll get the gibble eventually. But, uh, with this right here, we're gonna be ending the stream. Uh, we got through a good portion of it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be seeing you all in the next one. I'm gonna be starting tomorrow. Uh, same time as I started this one, which is like three hours ago. So I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. So until then, guys, take care.